Good greetings, one and all. I'm Rusty Dog, and welcome to Elite Dangerous Odyssey with Commander John Beamer again. This is because Frontier is keeping me away from the other stuff and making me do the goity stuff. Ah, right. <coughs> welcome. Nice to see uh, you guys here. I'm surprised I made it here f today for the stream, but we have. Um, <clears throat> let's see how it goes. I've just come out of a couple of hours nap, which I really needed. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, it's just... Anyway, we're here. We'll see how it goes. So, I've been busy. I played this this morning. I had things to do in it uh, since the last stream. And uh, we'll go check that out. You may have already seen the screenshot, but you've seen a crate mark too before. Um, so we're going to have another go today. A couple of goes with a couple of different variants of ship. We will see. Uh, so, who's on the stream that wants to be said hello to? Just let me know and... I'll give you a shout out. We are on the road to 7,000 subs. It might be a little bit of a tall order because it's... If we can get there before the end of the new year... Nope, end of the old year. Before the end of the year, if we can get there, that'll be great. We need about 80 subs though. So it's a little bit of a tall order because... There's not going to be that many streams between now and the new year. Uh, I don't know, maybe one two maybe of elite dangerous that's where most of it happens we'll see if it doesn't it doesn't if it does it'll come when it comes uh okay andy k good evening to you andy welcome to the stream uh, and old pixel hi old pixel um commander classified hello matey um go check your discord messages uh but yeah doing okay uh, fighting with the key binds. Oh dear. Ooh, now then. Do I have to do that as well? No, I think I might be okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I would have had issues if I didn't have my Xbox controller switched on, but I do. So we should be good. Um, Commander Steve Zodiac is with us. Hi, Steve. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Brian Hillard. Hello, Brian. Welcome to the chat and the stream. And, uh, Thank you for your support, mate. As a member, Simo Simondo Psycho. Hello, Simondo. Commander Gypsy. Uh, 07. Uh, gain damage. Um, 07. To you, sir. Loot. Uh, 07 this AX Sunday. Yeah. It's anti Zeno day. Uh, let's have a look. Commander Selim. Greetings, Commander Selim. And Commander Razor Firefly. 07 to you. Uh, 07 to Ian Townsend. And Lux Player. Uh, Matt says I'll be in game fairly soon. If you want a wingman, let me know. Yeah, it's going to depend on how the stream goes, Matt. Um, it's going to depend on a few things, but we'll see. See if we can get a couple of people in. Uh, happy Shrapnels with us, highly happy, and Humble Monk. Guys, it's nice to see all of you, and uh, I hope we can do, you know, somewhat of an interesting stream today. We shall see. How'd you like to earn some credits? Nope. You might have to bang them. We're not doing the old ground game today. We're going to be doing something else. So. Oh, it's nice in here. It's all, like... There is really a, an overtone of blue here, like everywhere, but I like it. And in case you're wondering, we are... Oh, it doesn't say up there. Well, we're somewhere. It should say, welcome to such and such orbital or whatever. Where are we? Yeah, we're here, Ray Gateway in Dear Gwandry. Uh, on we go. 
There she is, guys. The python is gone. The gold python is gone. Look at this thing. Oh, man. Look at those pipes coming out there. I took a look at the... And I say took a look at because I couldn't... I don't have enough arcs. 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 But I took a look at the hazard ship kit for this. The back end with the hazard ship kit on looks kind of neat. It adds great big, like, barrels. Like, what looks like barrels on the top there. But similar to the Python, the front hazard ship kit... Too many pipes, too much plumbing, I think, at the front. Um, it works with the Anaconda. It, uh, it seems to work very well. Um, maybe not so much here, so... I think at some point, though, if this ship is a keeper, um, I'd like to go for the hazard ship kit on it. At least maybe for the wings and the, and the tail. Perhaps not the front. Um, I think there's a lot of scaffolding on the front that would kind of spoil the, the look. So we moved away from the Python because flimsy canopy. And I did do some research afterwards and found out that, yeah, it, it, it does suffer from this. And it was a thing back then. I remember people were saying about that the Python had a flimsy canopy. This was, this was way back. This was pre-Odyssey. Uh, and it looks like Frontier haven't done anything to sort that out. And I think the, um, the Vulture tends to suffer a similar thing uh, and it doesn't necessarily have to do with the fact that the cockpit is you know out there f at the front because that's also the case for the asp and the asp doesn't suffer like the python did um, so we're gonna see how the crate man manages John Smith 07 John I, I did sell the python yeah I did I did I have no use for it at the moment, I'll get, I'll probably buy another one for a different purpose at some point. But yeah, that was, that I was able to claim forty-four million back out of that thing. So, we we had an item in transit. It should be here by now. Uh, what I've done is everything that I've had st stored uh, in my in my outfitting storage, everything that was somewhere else has now been brought here. So all of my storage parts are here. So I don't, anything I want to fit on this ship, I don't have to go anywhere else except here in Diagwandri. Uh, which is good, because if I need to buy another ship, I can go to here or to the system next door, because Diagwandri doesn't have Crate Mark IIs for sale. I had to go somewhere else for it. Uh, but I'm staying in this area because of the discount prices. The other thing is that the goids are really close by. Uh, yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I have a rated... Yeah, I took note of what you guys said. I do have... We're going to run through it right now. I do have a rated life support. So, let's pop into outfitting, guys, and check this out. So, for the first run... We are running with what we had on the Python. Uh, four Guardian Shard Cannons um, in the best arrangement I can have. I don't know if, if it's... Is it worth putting anything here? Like dump fire or Seeker Missiles? Is it worth it for anything? I don't know. Hello, Zontar. Seriously consider disliking the stream now. I didn't have a Python up to now. I've only, we've only had it on one. Uh, up to you, Loot. Up to you, mate. <laughs> right. Utility mounts. We have two heatsink launchers. I might be overkill because you only need... Maybe you only need one for every encounter, but I've got two. We've got the Xeno scanner and the shutdown filled neutralizer. Yes, I was able to buy it. We didn't have it in the Python, but we have it here. And it just so happened that when the Python got killed at the, uh, at the end of the last stream, we ended up on a medical frigate, mega ship thing, and they have them. They had a shutdown field neutralizer, and uh, 
I, I put it on there. Core internals then, I have to check this out. Um, right now, I have a better jump range than I had with the ASP, ASP than the Python. 29.7 jump range. So I'm thinking about putting some extra alloys on here. I don't know which one you guys would recommend. Uh, yeah, that's not quite. What did I go into? Stored? Up here. Okay. Times I don't navigate around here very well. What's happening? Why am I not at the screen that I'm expecting to be at? Yeah, this. Anyway, so they don't have any? Okay. <clears throat> I guess we're staying with lightweight. Uh, I can't be going off getting different things at the moment. Humble. It's, I don't have enough time. Uh, now, long range beam with thermal vent would be nice. <clears throat> However, that requires engineering. So that will have to be done over time. Hello, Paul. Yeah, that will have to be done over time because, yeah... How do you mean by nerfed the Orthrus encounter? Nerfed in what way? You mean they buffed it? You have reactive. Yeah. Uh, well, I looked at one of them. I think it might have been the mirrored one, or it might have been the reactive. It was, they wanted 82 million. So I said, stuff that. We're not getting that in. So for now, we'll just run with what we have. Power plant. I've been doing a little bit of... I, I went to visit Felicity. We've done a little bit of engineering on this. So, power plant has been upgraded to... Um, I don't know. Why doesn't it tell you here? Because it tells you here. That's why, Rust. Yeah, overcharged power plant, grade 2. That's good. We were already under power. We were under the 100%, now we are properly under. Now we're running at 76%, which is great. Thrusters. My boost speed on the crate was 380. So we've got grade 3 dirty drives on here. Now we can boost to 470. So, nice. Frame shift drive was already done. Life support A-rated, 25 minutes. Power distributor and an engineered lightweight sensor just it's not fully up there of course it's only grade three uh but it did give me an extra light year of you know range optionals then so this is going to change right now we have a fuel scoop i had this i had a sexy by weave a sexy by weave and then i found out that in storage right here i had another sexy by weave don't know where it came from but my, mem my memory's bad. And it had a enhanced low power uh, grade 3 on it. So the it was a little bit better in terms of its strength. Instead of 90%, it was up to 96. Uh, better power draw and everything. So I just booted that one on. Uh, Guardian, Guardian, Meta Alloy, and Guardian. There was another Guardian one there. I've just stored it right now something else is going in its place we have an srv and a detail surface scanner so let's jump into stored mods go to optionals and we're going to put a decontamination limpet controller and we're going to equip that in that slot and that should stop me panicking although if my canopy is going to keep cracking <laughs> none of this is going to matter i'm going to need to get out of there anyway uh right so now that we've done that Yes, I know. I've got to do my bleeding fire groups again. Let's stick a couple of limpets in. Oh, yeah. Cargo. I don't have cargo. I've got to do cargo. This is the problem with this bloody ship. Um, I don't really want to... Yeah, I might have to rethink this. Because I don't want to... Let's go to outfitting. Ah... In order to get a decent amount of limpets, I mean, I could keep synthesizing, but in order to get a uh, in order to get a decent amount, 
like maybe, I don't know, at least eight limpets. I'm going to have to get, what, a class three or something, cargo. I don't really want to... I don't really want to sacrifice any of these poor uh, things here. So I think what we'll do... Let's store this again. I'm just going to have to run without it for now. And maybe rely on the NPCs to do this for me. So let's go here. Go back into optionals. Go to hull. And we've got a 5 and a 3 spare. So we'll equip that. The five came off the uh, of the python. There was room to fit another one in there. This has got less slots than the python. All right, so we're going to have to run without that for now. Well, we'll manage somehow. Now, <clears throat> we're going to go and try this build out. When we get back, we're going to come back into outfitting. And we're going to go to hard points. And we're going to go to stored modules. And we're going to pick up these enhanced AX multi cannons <clears throat> just brand new on the market okay these are turreted so here's the deal we have uh, these enhanced ones right so the enhanced version grants improvement improved sorry damage output to each projectile it's turret version and can be controlled by Anne so thank you Anne for doing that uh, that's all the text I have. I don't know. Does it scroll with this? You gotta scroll with it. I don't know. I can't make it scroll. No. Okay, so it can be controlled by Anne. So we'll have to rely on Anne. So I've got uh, three threes and two twos, which will work with this ship. It's. I know you only allowed four, but... Now, there is a current community goal going on where if you take part in that, then one of the prizes is a enhanced AX multi-cannon fixed. So, hmm, might be worth going for that. It's a delivery CG. You've got to deliver this. A, B, C, or D to a certain port. It's probably on Galnet. Uh, and then you can get the fixed ones. <clears throat> so we're gonna try the we're gonna try both. Arrow down, I I tried that. Um let's try again. No. No, no. No, no. It's weird. <laughs> Maybe a binding thing. I don't know. So, because more goidy stuff has been added into the game, we've got one right close by. Like here. We used to be going over here. Now there's one here. Uh, so, uh, let's nip over to... What? Uh, I want to go to one where there's a decent population, but I don't know. Thargoid invasion. I want I want to do the ones that we were doing before, but uh, also I want to do the uh, the ones where the port is being attacked, the the, uh, the settlements being attacked, and then also maybe just the abandoned settlement where the big goid comes in. Uh, I want to have a look at the scouts at the moment, just because we've got turreted weapons. So, before, let me just plug in. I don't know. Well, I don't want to have to jump from system to system finding a decent one, because we're going to get interdicted left, right, and center with goids. Yeah, let's go with Radal. So, it's only it's 54 light years, guys. It's two jumps away. Which is fine by me. If I start running out of oxygen, then I'll know to come here. Um, now, there was something else I wanted to show.
yes, fire groups. So if we look here, you'll see that we are way under power, 76%. We've got plenty of room to, but you know, to do other stuff, add more power if we need to. So this is my kind of somewhat thought out uh, fire groups. So when we encounter the Thargoids, oh, sorry, I got mixed up on the keys there, still mixed up on the keys. Why can't I move this back? There we go. So, <clears throat> weapons will come out, and the first thing we'll do is Xeno scan them, okay? Next time, w once we've done the scan, we'll move to fire group B, fill the weapons out uh, with the field neutralizer waiting, just in case uh, we need it. On this one, it's the discovery scanner, normal stuff. Then the other two scanners are not last, but the last things I'm going to use in terms of scanners, data links and composite scanners. The reason this one sits here with the heatsink is because it's only one click away from A. <clears throat> so maybe I could switch these around where I go, I use the fire group B first to do the scan, then I nip back to A right with the neutralizer ready and if I'm if I need the heat sinks I can just nip back backwards from A to E and then back to A again you see doesn't really matter I'll keep it like this for now but it might make sense to go to go B and then A when encountering B A E when encountering you know but I've tried to get it like that we'll see how it goes let's go uh Hello, Mike McGee, and Fatini, and Shred Gaming. Why not lose the hangar? Oh, I, I, yeah, I could. <clears throat> I'll think about that. I'll think about that. I've got the SRV for a reason because it made for some good visuals last time. But it's true that for a goidy ship, I don't really need the the, the SRV, do I? Actually, I don't. But it's... How much cargo is a class 2? Like, you get 4, right? You get a cargo 4. 4 oh, limpets might... It might work. Yeah. Maybe when we come and do the refit for the multi-cannons, uh, we can do that. I do love the cockpit of this ship. It doesn't have a livery on it. See, why, why, why does this camera come in? It's a random thing. We need this one. <clears throat> Even then, it's not right. We should be looking at the back of the ship. Do you guys get this as well? Sometimes you just, you know, you're supposed to press that, and then you're looking at the back of the ship. That's the view that is expected. And it's, it's this one. Oh, it's weird. Point leader 75. Hey. Hello, yes, oh, I'm streaming regularly. Not always uh, elite, but yeah. <clears throat> they reduce the time the Orthra stays around. Oh, Jesus. And they increase the shield a bit. So they've made it harder to kill. So it's not really a nerf then, is it? It's like they've buffed it. They've made it worse for us. I think an, is isn't nerf just when they <clears throat> when they bring something down? Is that not a downward thing? Like if a payout was ten thousand and it becomes five, isn't that the nerf? Or does nerf just mean change? I always thought that an, a buff was an increase in something, and a nerf was a reduction. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Here we go, into the wild blue yonder. So yeah, as I said, we have engineered uh, propulsion, which I would like to go further with. <coughs> dirty, dirty drives grade five. Because this thing now, it boosts to 480, which is enough speed to outrun 
scouts or whatever Thargoid decides to interdict me. Um, because we weren't going that quick in the ASP and we could outrun it. So, but anything more? Like once we get to grade five, we should be well, well into the 500 boost speed. Um, maybe even touching on six, I don't know. All right, so let's do a little system mapping. Oh, it's not very much here. It's just a planetary base. Okay, well, we can jump around. Uh, but these are interesting. The ones that have just the ones that are just abandoned. They are interesting. I like those. Even though it is small and big Thargoids both. Alright, Bellamy Settlement. Uh let's go. And there is let me just check this fella out. They do have repair. But I don't know whether he's still running, because it's quite possible that this has been attacked, or it's not working, or it's closed. Because we had that last time I, I docked at a place. The system map didn't tell me anything, and I just I couldn't get in. I couldn't get in, so, yeah. But we, we will have 25 minutes of air supply if we need it. All right. Guaranteed we're going to be interdicted before we get here, but yeah. Hello, Sepalok. On Doodle says I'm going to sell my vulture and get a crate. Oh, you can't have both? Old Nesbitt, wildlife photography. Hello. They have reduced the credits down also from 50 million to 30 million. Now that's a nerf. Yeah, they did that, didn't they? Hello, Angry. And see you there, mate. Sorry, I'm missing a couple of messages because I got distracted at the beginning. Sock it to him, says Brian. Yeah. <laughs> really fast frontier. And nerfing something. Not easy, but enjoy. Yeah, they... Yeah, they do. Now, in terms of the ranking for the exobiology, you know that they fiddled with that, right? Um, I don't think they solved it in a graceful way. Uh, maybe because they couldn't. So instead of taking my rank, which was nearly elite, uh, I was on geneticist. I was three quarters, I would say, yeah, 75% through geneticist, almost hitting elite, um, which was way too much. So instead of taking me back to the rank I should be at, based on the amount of exobiology I've gathered, they they keep you at the rank that you earned, oh, and then they reset it. So I'm still at geneticist, but it's been reset. That 75% is gone. And I think that the geneticist is now going to take a lot longer to get to elite than it would have normally done to make up for the amount that I overshot before. And then when it hits elite, it should start ranking up normally. At least that's how I translate it. Uh, so, yeah, we will see. Oh, we're just getting discoveries here. So, let me pop to here. Hopefully I'll have time for a descan. I'm probably not going to bother scanning, uh, Xeno scanning scouts. Probably not going to bother with that. I think I should when I get back from A plus or A A star A plus. <laughs> Cost of living making me think like this. The AMD GB planet landing bug has been going on. Oh, I don't know about that bug. <laughs> right. It looks like. I don't know where this is. It's going to be daytime, nighttime, or smack in the middle. It's difficult to know how to attribute the the pips here. I want to. I want some. Sh I still have. To, I really do need to engineer these shields a bit more as well. Uh, but. 
I've got two and a half pips to shields. I've got two to weapons. I'd like to go three one two, but I don't even know where to start to do that. Let me try see if I can do it. Yeah, you see, you just get half pips. Hmm. Is it even possible to do a clean three one two? Yep, I've just done it on that side. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'll just keep them at default. Actually, yeah. Okay, I wasn't ready for that. Reload is often. Already got caustic. I can burn it off, of course, but. Ah! I think maybe I'm too close. The reload, the reload always happens when, ah, never mind, I can't concentrate and talk. You know, yeah, when, when I'm targeting perfectly, that's when we get the reload. Aren't we going to get any nice limpets coming in? from these people, or have they nerfed that as well? See, when I do that, I got five shots on the target there, but it was miles away. Oh, that was a thingy-goid, a star-goid, my first sighting, and was it, was it, it looked like one, or was it a missile, gold knows, all right, time to leave, I'm not very good with these goidy battles, guys, these, uh, these fixed weapons are not my friend. So this is why I've got the turreted option. Looks like we did get a Xeno scan. I didn't do one, but the Xeno's there. It doesn't, it doesn't have like a load of zeros. the caustic substance removed. I'm surprised we didn't get any limpets though. I'm gonna have to wait here, I need shields. Mm. That was a missile. The colour though, it looked just like the uh, Stargoid screenshots I've been seeing. Shields are pretty pointless against these goids anyway. How come I didn't have my weapons out? Because I needed to get the hell out. Already? You get caustic by, you know, hap happening to fly into the smoke. The green smoke. Do you, do you get... Is that how it happens? Because... Now I need to boost to generate heat. 
My modules are going to be fried before you know it. We're going to have to get the decontamination limpets on board 100% because the, uh, the AI are not helping. I might even be tempted to remove my shields because they are largely, I find them largely pretty useless when it comes to goids. They just get straight through to your hull anyway. But with that in mind, I'm going to leave a pip there. Uh, let's go there. But that progress bar on the top right is going to take forever. I'm sure I got my first caustic damage before I killed anything. So I must have got into the caustic cloud of of another explosion, I guess. I don't know. I'll try and avoid it. Just making sure that my shard cannons are full. Like, if I only had two shard cannons left, uh, I would shoot them and get it down so that we have a full, uh, a full magazine. I wondered I can barely see the dude. What? What? What was he now? What was that? He was there, then he wasn't. Wrong way round. <laughs> he wasn't there, then he was. Limpet coming in. Don't know what type it is. Oh, I should have used that one, shouldn't I? At least I get an idea of the damage I'm doing now that I have the the scan done. I think what happens is, if anyone scans a uh, one of them, then I get the scan too, right? Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Oh, come on, one more hit, and this guy's a toast. The repair doesn't include your canopy, by the way. Look at all these little goids. Trying to get one targeted that's at least somewhere in front of me. It doesn't have to be perfect on the reticle, but you know, it'd be nice to be somewhere close. He's 18%. So the only thing left to improve apart from shields and stuff on my ship, is my piloting skills. <laughs> and if after all this time that hasn't happened, then... I forgot that pressing H on my keyboard targets the next closest enemy. I really am not bothered about my shields. Oh, come on, look at him. He's just waiting there for me, taunting me. He sits there in front of me saying, is that all you got? And I'm reloading.
caustic damage removed. Yay! But we've only got 59% hull. So I don't, my ship doesn't have the staying power at the moment to hang around for the entire uh, quest, let's call it, the progress bar at the top. I can't stick around long enough yet. But at least we're having more success. The canopy... What? Where did that come from? The canopy is... Uh, <laughs> cracking. But it's holding out. Yeah, I know. I know, watch myself. I'm gonna be... Limping back home soon. I'm very bad at staying out of the line of fire. That w oh, we didn't get any caustic though. Ah. That's not good. Into the breach, guys. What ship? Yeah, me. Hopefully I'm the ship they, they are told to pr protect. It's not gonna like me. Give me that range, just let me shoot. I like how I'm only on two and a half pips and I can still just boost and boost. And here it goes. There goes my canopy, guys. Can't even tell. Oh, and now I need to... Oh, Jesus. Where's the... Where's the thing? You know, the sub-target where you can... Oh, it's been so long. I don't I don't think it does that for the... For the leaves, does it? Yeah, doesn't it do it? Exposed heart? I don't know. I, I, I always thought it did that, but I guess not. Maybe it does, and I can't find it. It's been way, way too long since I've been doing goidy stuff. What's my hull? Okay, we better leave. I think it's too late anyway. But we'll get back to Dear Gwandry pretty damn quick. Mm. I'll tell you what, though. It doesn't help when you're pitching up, is it? Or down? Up. When you're pitching up, I'll show you now. Oh, please put me back at the egg laundry. No, it's A. I don't know where it's going to put me. I think it's actually going to put me on that settlement. That'd be weird. Yeah, the scan was already done, though. I didn't, you know, it actually, it, instead of showing 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0 on the on the scan thing, it actually showed the goid. Um, uh, Jack the Ripper, yeah, we just went through the build. Um, they're shard cannons, though. Um, okay, so, you see... You see the... Uh, I wish I had a mouse pointer on this screen. Right, so you, it, you've got two numbers. You've got your 100% shield and your 100% hull. Right? The problem is, and I don't think there's a menu option to fix this, when you're pitching up, 
as you will do in battle quite a lot, your, it simulates head movement. And that 100% from the hull disappears off the screen. It goes down below. And so you can't monitor 100% of the time your hull. And the only way to find out what state your hull is in is to level off or quickly pitch down. Now I would like a menu option to eliminate any head movement so that the cockpit is completely static and doesn't simulate anything. Because I, I need or or move <laughs> move the hull the hull uh, uh, integrity uh, a bit higher. You know, it sits too low. I didn't know I was that low on the hull until it was too late. Hmm. Okay. So let's go. Let's go to Dear Guandry. And we'll do another outfitting, which was the intention anyway. And we'll see what the uh, thing is. But yeah, I, I, uh, I don't know if it will be beneficial on Fluffy Dave. These things, th those answers can only be answered. Uh, after you've tested them, really. So, yeah. Until I test them, I, I couldn't possibly guess an answer on that one. Hey, Aquatic! Yeah. Um, there was no need for me to scan the big goid because it was already done. I already had it there at least that's what it looked like to me normally when it's not scanned it's just a bunch of zeros and ones and binary code uh, but that wasn't the case so I just presumed it was already scanned but yet there was no sub target there weird anyway so we got definitely more scouts than we have done in the past but look you see how much, look, look where the hull percentage is. And this is only jumping into supercruise, but look how it moves around. I don't like it. 95% of the time it's fine. Especially if you've got a great big combat ship and you're in a has res and you know you're going to kill everything anyway. You don't need to look at your hull. But in Thargoid combat, it's maybe a little bit more necessary. See, I don't know that. I know now if I go to Dear Guandry and come back, that progress bar is going to be reset, right? It's it's gonna, it's not gonna <coughs> be where it was when I when I left. So you're if you want to complete that progress bar, a don't be on your own. Uh, because it's not it, you'll never manage it. Uh, B, try and have a ship that can last that long. Yeah, we're gonna need uh, double strength canopies. I don't know if Frontier have figured out all the, or, th or thought out all the nuances of this yet. We need stronger canopies now. We need a non-moving. See, I can't. I can't tell what hull I've got now. Or shields. I have no idea. Kind of critical though. I need to be able to look down and see that number all the time. I don't know. I'd like the option to turn it off. So that the, yeah, it's just so it's static. <laughs> Fortunately, there is no such thing as a rating canopies. But I've already said, Matt, I do have a rated life support. You know, I got that. Yeah, 500 meters. But I used to do it all the time. Have they changed the, the distance now? Because back in the old goidy days, when I used to do it, 
you know, as soon as you jumped into the instance, it would just stare at you. And it would give you a chance to scan before it moved. I think that was the purpose why they why they uh, did it that way. Tim Prater, hello. Yeah, so I think that's why they did it that way. But of course now they it's they've changed the goalpost now because now the goids just jump into these instances and they're already moving around. So as you say, trying to get a scan. Yeah, largely pointless. As are the shields, I believe. I think for an AX ship, I'm not going to bother too much on shields. I think it's I think it's all about the hull and uh, stuff like that. Now, in terms of getting a reinforced hull or a better hull, Ray Gateway is not the place you need to be at. If I can remember, it's Sir Sirson Sirson Dock in a place called Gurunini, which is like a jump away from here. I'll have to see if I can find it on the galaxy map. Hey, Frankie Jazz! Definitely need limpets though, but for sure, I mean, we got caustic maybe two or three times there, three times I would say. So I'm going to run out of limpets super quick. And in terms of synthesis, well, I'm probably going to do a loop of shame trying to find out. I've only got three reloads because the, lim the limpet synthesis is heavy on cost. Maybe Frontier should tweak that down as well. I know that they're easy to come by materials, but still, 10 of each, just for four limpets. Hmm. Have to start stocking up on iron and nickel. So we'll put these weapons away and we'll get some new ones, just for a comparison. <clears throat> Yeah, you see, I'm using up a class 6 slot for shields when it's probably better spent using it as a class 5 hull reinforcement. Yeah, I think I think we'll do that. I mean, the shields go offline almost immediately. Just they don't do anything. It would be interesting just to do a normal Threat 5 Cyclops uh, like we used to do, just just to see because, yeah, I'd like to see how, it, how this ship would fare, with the shard cannons of course, I wouldn't do it with the uh, multi cannons. Let's see. Let's make a couple of changes. This ship very much is a work in progress. I only built it today. And I've decided to abs absolutely and totally not care about how many uh, insurance claims I have in my stats. I just really don't care. It's because of this Thargoid thing now, it's going to be unavoidably large. 6.6 .6 million rebuy. However, did we lose all that money that we made though? So we made 80,000 here and there and here and there, but then there was that half million. But that's not bad. That's paid a little bit of the rebuy. So before they take that away from me, Combat bonds. So before they take that away from me, let's redeem that. And let's go into outfitting. 
And we're going to make some wholesale changes. Hello, Star Warrior. You caught a stream, yes. And Mr. Budman is around as well. Hello, Mr. Budman, one and only. That's what I'm hoping for, Fatini. Uh, I mean, these are turreted ones, but hey. All right, so click and store. Bye-bye, shards. You are very good. I like shards, especially the ones on my, uh, say my, Rusty's Anaconda. Cyclops don't like my Anaconda. They die quick. There's no, there's no uh, opening hearts or anything when I do it. They open their hearts immediately, but I don't need to target them. I just target the middle of the goid. Uh, two, two volleys out of my anaconda and it's all over. Assuming I get the timing right. Okay, so the weapons are gone. Uh... This we're going to have to move and go somewhere else because Ray Gateway, uh, you can see. So here we're going to get rid of shields and we're going to store those. And I believe if I go into stored modules, I already have a five all reinforcement. So let's equip that. Now, we're going to ditch the class 3 one, store that, and I'm going to store this. I know they're popular everywhere, but just in case my luck runs out. So in here, whoops, here, I want to put limpet controller, here, Want cargo rack. I I haven't forgotten the weapons. And then we go into advanced maintenance. Go to limpets. Take four of them. Cargo hold at maximum capacity. Now I'm hoping between my limpets and the NPC limpets we can work together. And maybe four will be enough to keep me around for a while. Who knows? Okay, so, hard points. That's not the right button. We need to go to stored, and we want to go to here. And we're looking for enhanced AX multis. Available at all good, what are they called? I mean, I call them medical frigates because that's what it says on the side. Um, rescue mega ships. Yeah, you can you buy these at rescue mega ships. So enhanced, uh, let's equip that, and we'll bang that up at the top there. So turreted. Are these just gonna look? It's got a compact disc in the middle. Are they just gonna shoot like anything? Because t I'd, I think it's just a case of like once once I target one, eh? We'll just see how it goes. I've been out of the game so long. I'm, even can't remember the the logic of targeted weapons now. I don't want one weapon targeting. Like let's say I've got four weapons, I don't want each one targeting four different scouts. <laughs> no, I'm sure I'm sure it'll be fine. Once I target one, I think they're all going to aim on that, and with nothing targeted, uh, I'm guessing it's just going to try and protect me. On a, on a general basis. We will see. I haven't used turreted for a long time. Can you tell? Uh, right, and medium. Oh, where's the placement here? On these mediums. So we've got one at that side, one at that side. Yeah, I'm going to go with this one. I don't know. Oh, it's, it's a different way, isn't it? You have to go through a different way here. Stored. And blah blah blah. There we go. We got two two enhanced. So equip that and stick that in the bottom one. There she is. That.
Yep, I'll get those. I'll get those uh, invites, stroke messages at the top. So we're looking at mul enhanced multi cannons now, with extra damage. Shot speed. <laughs> oh, Jesus, what? Four kilometers per second shot speed. Maximum range four kilometers. So even at maximum range, it'll hit its target in one second. Crumbs. Ammo maximum on the threes is 2,100. On the twos, wow, the same. The twos and the threes have got the same numbers. All right, damage, 1.4 and 8.7 per second. These are 0 0.7 and 4.4 per second. It sounds good. All right, so let's do that. So utilities, we've got those. Ah, I knew there was something. That's why I came back here. Alloys, okay. We'll go and sort those out right now. I think we just have to pop next door for that. No shields, just going to go with whole reinforcement. Mm, and we're only carrying four limpets. But we can decontaminate ourselves. Click. So that means I now have to fiddle with the fire groups again. So the final fire group, which is heat sink, heat sink, is going to have to go here. No, I'll tell you what, I'm going to put decontamination at, uh, at the last one. So that I can flick. Yeah, I think I'd rather flick back from my from the hard points I'm using, from the fire group I'm using, which will be A to F. I like to flick backwards and do the decontamination from there. Yes. Now I've got to make sure when I release the limpet not to have anything targeted. Right? Like a scout. Hey, what if you shoot one at a scout? Decontaminate him. <laughs> oh, you use the item as target only. That's right, you can set it in here. Uh, where's it done? Turreted weapon mode. There we go. Target only and fire at will. And forward fire. Okay, target only. Friend request. Trimonious monk. Is that is that you, humble? But another AX multi. Yeah, impossible, mate. You only allowed four. Maximum is four. So the system I went to before was it began with a G and it's only a jump away and it's not that one. I can find it by doing a search in Inara of what I was looking for. I wanted to buy a crate and Ray didn't have it. And it said, oh, you can get one from this system. And so that's where I went. And it also had all of the... Uh, alloys as well they were all there so I think I'm going to do the same again so I'm just going to pop into Inara uh, go to outfitting on a crate mark 2 and we're at Dear Grandi there it is it's CERN and Dock and we get 15% off and the system is GCRV. I would never have remembered it. GCRV and a number. That thing. That's where we need to go. It's only a jump. It's literally a jump away. Maybe a bit less. Yeah, it is four kilometers per second. That's some high speed stuff there. 
At least I don't have to worry about shields now, right, because I don't have any. So my pip management is going to be so much easier. I just have to go 3-3 three, three, and I'm good. Just don't whack it on the mail slot here. Modern, okay. Oh. Pathetic, says the great Bidoof. Well, that's because I'm not great like you. What's TY, by the way? Is, it that, is that thank you? <laughs> Off we go. Did they finally put a new fucking ship in the game? No, I don't think you can get ships that do that. I think you can just... I think they just fly. I don't think they've gone into coital uh, mode. No. I haven't tried them yet, Patini. I'm looking forward to it. Turn on night vision. What, now? He wasn't talking about you. Okay, calm down. Relax. It's all good. Uh, okay, let's go to Cern and Dock. Now we can... We uh, would, do you think a reinforced one would be all right? Just reinforced alloys. I think it would, Cosmic. Depends. Some prefer to be on... No. Let's not get into it. That can go down a dark path. But it's true, they haven't added a new ship for a while. The last one was the T-10, right? The T-10? Was, was that the last ship that was in the game? That was a long time ago. And you know the ship everybody wants. And then... Uh, once it comes into the game, everyone's going to be disappointed with it. Spec hull. Spec hull? What's spec hull? Specialized, I don't know, what's it? Can you, oh, military spec hull, sorry. That. That's expensive. <laughs> you know how many plants I have to scan to get that money back? At least two. <laughs> uh, I need to do some plant scanning. I had 400 million before. Now I've got two hundred. I've got. I've lost one hundred and sixty million uh, buying pythons and and stuff like that. That's the uh, the ship everybody wants is the Panther Clipper. I don't know what the what the reason for that is. What the big draw for that ship is, but maybe because it it had a really nice wireframe in nineteen eighty four. I don't know. But there are things they need to do with some of these, sh the current ships. And I said it in a previous stream that all of the ships that are like the tourist ships, especially the Beluga, that go out with passengers 20,000 light years just so they can look at a friggin' beacon, um, they need to have some killer jump ranges on them. But then they also need to be done in a way where maybe they're not very good at exploration ships. But uh, you can't do it that way then, can you? Uh, anyway. Unless you make it so they can't land on planets, but then some tourists, some tourists want to land, don't they? I don't know. Do they? The tourists require landing on planets? Would you just? I know there are some ground, on, on the ground beacons that you can take passengers. 
but do you need to land for it? I'm going to have to get my piloting a bit more careful through these slots with no shields. And here, every time you land, unless you're coming down like a, a, like a ballerina in zero G, you're going to take a little bit of hull away. Let's see. Make sure we got the wheels out. Ooh, nice. Yeah, Beluga should have a pretty big jump range, I think. You know, and even even the Dolphin as well should have maybe 250 light years. Yeah, you don't need to land. There you go. But just make it so that those ships can't land on planets, so then people don't use them as explore <laughs> exploration ships. But they should be just, you know, big passenger vessels, like the space equivalent of a 747 or something, you know. Yeah, just scan the beacon. That's what that's what I figured. Yeah, because the payouts are good, aren't they? Fifty million and whatnot. But Jesus, you know, Mister Such and Such wants to go twenty-one thousand light years, you know, and and further. You know, you get you get some. Is can you get passenger missions? Right, I haven't seen one myself. Where the guy, he's taking the pee. Where the guy wants to go to Beagle Point. Is that a thing? Because for that, you better be paying me more than 50 million. Okay. So, we need to jump into core and replace. Hopefully the one's Cathena said are here. This one? 35. Look at this. Look at how, look at how much. Look. What? That's nuts. So this is the next most expensive, then this one. Th you see, they go up like this. You know, cheap, free of charge. Cheap, more expensive, even more expensive. And do you have a spare kidney available? It's... <laughs> e man. So we're looking at military grade. Oh. 35 million. Well, I suppose I need... Do you know what I need to do to recoup that 35 million back? I need to scan Stratum Tectonicus twice. And that's it. That's the money back from that one. And that's easy to do. All right, so we've got military grade on there, so now we, we've knocked our jump range down, but that doesn't really matter. We're uh, 27 and a half now. Still quite respectable for a Xeno crate, I think. Yeah. Okay. So, no shields. Right, let's get back to... Now, we went to Radal last time, but there was only the one base there. And it was a... I'd like to maybe have a look at one where there's a... Let me try and zoom. Where there is a... A port under attack as well. They're attacking this port. Should we try this one? It just says port. It doesn't really specify ground or... Whatever. So we'll take a look. Did we get a sub? Sniper Journey 75. Hey, thanks for the sub. On the road to 7,000. Oh, wow. We're going to get there. Cheers. Thank you very much. Now you need to mod it. Oh. I don't know if I've got any engineer unlocked to do that. I don't have very... <clears throat> Who does the... Uh... Who does it? Uh, let me have a quick look then. So I'm just having a look in Odyssey materials. I've only got... I've got Marco Quent and Elvira Martuk. I've got the Dweller. Felicity Farseer. Todd the Blaster. Jury Ishmak.
and that's it. So I might not be able to do it at the moment. Celine Jean does hulls and stuff. <clears throat> you can get meta alloy armor for ship on serious mega ships. Hmm. Take me to see the Great Annihilator. Yeah, exactly. Add a bubble to. Add a bubble to Colonia pop up. I passed. Okay. Meta alloy armor. So, Celine Jean, let's take a look quickly. I'm not going to do it today, I don't think. Where are you? Celine Jean. Yeah, she's 140 light years away. And to unlock Celine, we need 10 Painite. But learn it. Oh, I've got to reach level three with Todd McQuinn. Haven't done that, as far as I know. Todd the Blaster. Oh, I have reached level three, but I haven't gone to 33%. I'm almost there. So I've got to visit Todd first and do some more stuff with him. Gain access when you have mined 500 tons. Yeah, remember that? My video, 500 tons for Celine Jean. Yeah, okay. That's gonna, we're not gonna do that. Let's go. These are all things that still need to be done. Mining 500 tons. Oh, buddy. Type 9 incoming. I'm gonna have to. Do I have to redo all of my uh, swines? See, they should have just kept all the ones in place. And if there's no weapon in that slot, then there's no weapon. Doesn't matter, we just fill every one. Except for one. And I think that's this one. Because this one has got a one and a two assigned to it already. Okay, we're good. So, if I... Are we outside the fire zone? Yes. So. Right now I've got my... Xeno scanner, and if I go back one, I've got my decontamination limpets should I need it. And if I go back again, I've got my heat sinks. And then if I go forward one from A, I've got my field neutralizer. Okay. I'm just trying to make it make a little bit of sense. Right. Meta alloy hull reinforcements. See, I've got one of those. Yeah, I've got one of those on. Um, I've only got one though. <laughs> Type 10 is a better miner. Yeah, uh, what's the price difference though? Good thing is though, if uh, am I not mistaken that if you, you just have to mine it, right? You don't have to give it to her. So that means, you know, you'll not only unlock her, but you'll also make the money from those 500 tons as well, right? So if you mine something, it doesn't, I, I guess it doesn't have to be the most for quickness, you'd probably go with something that's really common, but not necessarily um, going to net you a huge fortune. But if you found something in between that was fairly common, but also still made you a decent amount of money, yeah, I wouldn't want to hang around until I've gathered 500 tons of, I don't know, low temp diamonds or something. Whew. Yeah, I have a I have a live stream on it, but it's, things maybe have changed since then though. And I did it in an anaconda. I bought an anaconda just to do that, and then I sold the anaconda afterwards. That yeah, that I might have a look back at that actually, because that was uh, I had a pretty decent setup on that. That was a good few years ago. 
Mining 500T. 500 tons for Celine Jean. Hm. Got a fair amount of views that video. See what these uh, enhanced multis are like. All I know is they're going to be fast and they're going to be firing at a hell of a range. Now, like you get 2100, I've got a feeling they're going to be running out very quickly. We'll see. Ah, awesome. That's what I wanted. A, a starport. No chance of hitting the ground. <laughs> no shields, right? The hull's gonna take the brunt of everything now. And so it begins. So submit straight away. So we can we can boost away. I'm not gonna fight this one. So straight into boost. Let's just get four pips so we can get a bit more boost in. So the boost speed's gone down because we've added that that heavier hull. Yeah, I've just realized it's 17,000 light seconds out, this thing. Um, yeah, we've lost about 10 meters per second in top speed. But we can top that up with a bit more engineering. Grade 5, hold reinforcement. When you say, uh, oh, 5 grade, sorry, okay. So cla class 5, yeah, class 5 hold reinforcement. Well, provides 40% more. Yeah, I think the, the one that I've got, the, pr the thing is, um, I don't know how the maths work out here. Okay, we'll, we'll do that conversation in a minute. My hull's going to be down to like zero by the time I, I get to Olsen Colony. So... Guardian hull reinforcements. Is this what we're talking about? Pascua, when you said grade five grade hull reinforcement, are you talking about the Guardian ones? Right, because they comes in, they come in, uh, they come in class three and five. But the meta alloy reinforcement that I've got on my ship is a class four. If I was to take that off and replace it with a Guardian, it would have to be a Class 3 one. So I just don't know which is better. No, oh, 5 human reinforcement beats everything. So you, what are we talking about? Uh, <clears throat> oh, this is annoying. We need to find a different system. I can't be traveling all these light seconds under these conditions. It's not worth it. I don't I don't have the tolerance for it. I'm not if I'm honest go I don't really know the, because the, there's so many different reinforcement options in Elite. I don't know which ones are which. You you, so you're talking about not human, but standard, the standard ones that you can buy in outfitting. And then you're talking about what, engineering those to, to a grade five? Is that what you mean? Because there's class five, which is the actual class of the device itself. Then you've got grade five, which refers to the engineering. So I'm just not quite sure what you mean. I'm just being a bit dumb. Hey, we got 98 people watching. Hello, 98. 
Hope you're all doing good today. <coughs> Let's see how many more interdictions. We already lost two percent hull. At this rate, we'll need uh, we'll need hull repair the moment we get in there. That's what he's talking about. Okay. Well, I've just I have gone the complete wrong way then on my build because it's all it's all guardian. You know, we were doing all of the guardian work just to get these. There you can see five 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 four and three. But in in order for them to benefit me, don't I? If I just put standard ones in because I haven't got the engineer unlocked, then because I because I can't engineer them yet, am I not now better going for the guardian ones for the moment? You know what I mean? So standard hull reinforcements gives you caustic protection. It's a strange thing. Okay. <clears throat> That's kind of weird that they would have more caustic protection than the than the, uh, Guardian variant. But okay. I'll have to do some research. If you're on my Discord score by any chance, um, I don't know, maybe go to Coriolis and put a build in for me. I might have to try it myself. No, I can't get any engineering done at the moment on these. Angry. But uh, yeah, if uh, if you if yourself and uh, Commander Classified don't mind following me around the universe, you feel free to join in on my Rusty Dog group. And pop over. I'm in HR one three five four, planet three, Olson Colony. I'm headed just where you see me, mate. HR one three five four, Olson Colony. But by the time you guys get here, I'll probably be already be destroyed, or or gone. I'll be heading back to Dear Gwandry to get some new canopy glass uh, put in. Okay, so let's go 3-3 three, three on the pips. No pips to shields, not required. I'm, when it comes to my first decontamination, I'm probably going to panic and press the wrong button. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. If we don't push it back, Nope. Nope, I do not think I can handle it at all. Right, so on my joystick, if I do a left click, I think it cycles through the enemies, and up and down click cycles through the friends. Right, so we've got a four kilometer range on these, right? So keep an eye on the... Uh, Oh, wow. Okay, he's gone. Jesus! I'm just keeping my big reticle, or the little reticle, inside the big one. Okay, I'm liking these. They're a lot less stressful. I don't have to worry so much about keeping them on target. That sounded like a sub. I know. Yeah, you did tell me for teeny Jesus crumbs. No caustic yet. And it helps the fact that I can I can be like a couple of kilometers out. 
Because these things, do they have a fall off or do they just, as long as you're within four kilometers. Oh man, I can avoid all the caustic because I'm not getting close. Look at the, look at the hole on these little things. Holy Jesus. Guess, guess what weapons we're staying with. <laughs> My God. Don't need shields anyway. Uh, Mr. Corrupted. Hey, thank you, man, for the subscription. Appreciate it. Reloading. Okay, I'll try and get a bit closer while you do that. Okay, it's it's ripping it down, even though I'm two kilometers out. Stay within the big reticle. Yeah, look at that. I just, I kill them from such a distance now. Jesus. Fall off is two kilometers. Ah, right, that's why, that's why you guys said stay within. I wonder how it acts on the big guy. Man, that's impressive. What's all the whites? Biomechanical conduits, propulsion elements, and weapon parts? What are those? Do they come in handy for anything? Oh, these are just rippers. All I want to know now is what do I need to synthesize the ammo on this? I'm going to stock up on those. My goodness. Hang on, guys. I'll check the chat in a sec. <laughs> and you know what? They don't take up a lot of... Uh, they don't take up a lot of um, capacity on the on the distributor either. So you can have you, you can probably go four two here. All right, here come the big dudes. Oh, okay, I'm fine. We're good. Uh, Mr. Budman. Amy Grant. Scouts met with them. Ah, Jamie Grant subscribed. Okay. Oh, hi, Jamie. Thanks for the sub. It'll be interesting to see what hull I've got left. Okay. Maybe now. I think I'm not going to bother with the big guys. Maybe killing a big one makes makes that progress bar move. But the thing is, the the big goids, even though in my asp I I tore off like three leaves, I'm already down to forty percent hull, so. Unless somebody's here in the same instance with me, we're going to lose this progress, unfortunately. Am I able to land? Because remember, when I respawned on Bellamy Con Colony, or whatever it was, last time, I don't suppose you can land in these places and repair here. I'm going to lose my, uh... See, once the big guys come in, oh, the fun's over, you know? I can't compete with the... I can't compete with the big ones.
Okay, so we lost the canopy. And I've got caustic as well, so... I don't know what... See, I knew I'd panic, because I don't know what fire group I'm on. Out of ammo. Of course. Because the cargo hatch got screwed. Screwed here, big time. Yeah, so we lost the limpets because, of course, they target, they target that, and then you get screwed anyway. Okay. Yeah, they they target the cargo hatch. Frontier have thought this through, like. You know, how can we screw the player up as much as possible? So I'm going to burn this off. Yeah, of course. So, the limpets now. The Authorus, because of the changes Frontier's made to the Authorus, it's kind of put me off wanting to do one. You know, if they've made it... Such a just a nightmare to to you know to get to get to to catch up with and to keep up with. If that's the way it is, I don't know. Kind of, it's kind of. I find it off-putting. Pudding, not pudding. Putting. For the moment. Dear Gwandry is the closest place I know that I can dock and repair. And it will be quicker to go there than it will be to look up a closer place. <clears throat> so, for the scouts, this thing is brilliant. So my next question, guys, because you've probably done one. I haven't done one yet. Those AX conflict zones, like the low intensity or whatever, are they all scouts? Or is it kind of a mixed bag? Because if it's all scouts, that would be fun. What did we make on that little trip, anyway? It's three jumps to get back. That's kind of weird. <laughs> no, no off-putting, uh, Commander Boardman. Yeah, the bigger ones get you, eh? You see, I don't know whether the Frontier have changed things uh, in the 14... What is it, what's it called? 1401 patch? Um... Obviously, if they have nerfed anything, they're not going to document it. They're not going to tell you. Uh, or if they've buffed it. But when I had my ASP, my paper ASP, I was able to stay in the battle with some shark cannons. Uh, although, to be fair, shark cannons are pretty damned effective uh, against the big goids. It's a pity we can't get more than four on. I'd like to have two shark cannons and then four of the multis. That would be good. Yeah, they should they should take the limit off from four. Maybe make it six or something. Mm. Yeah, exactly, Jamie. Just do the scouts for five minutes. But uh, when you jump away and come back, though, the progress bar is gone, right? It's going to reset. So, to complete that progress bar, you have to stay in the instance, or perhaps be in a team where the other per person can stay in the, in the instance while you're away, and when you get back, they can go. That's how we used to keep it going before. Yeah, I mean... For the Authorus, though, would you really use these multi-cannons on that thing? Or would you switch back to the the ones I had before? Mm. 
Yeah, the pro it's uh, when you jump into those instances that I was just in right now, Jamie, they have a progress bar going across the top, similar to a conflict zone. And I think when that progress bar reaches the end, you've kind of won that little battle there. Yeah, if you, if you scrub the stream back just a little while I was in battle, you'll see it on the top top right where the, where the info panel is. And it shows you the progress. And once that reaches the end... So level four for scouts. Okay. Maybe we'll look for one of those. Level a level four um, conflict zone. <clears throat> are those finishable as well? The scouts uh, are those finishable, and I guess. Be yeah, well, they should be right if they're if they're similar to all the other conflict zones. <laughs> but it used to be the case when you used to jump into those. It was just it was you versus however many scouts were in there, so they all targeted you. Has that now changed? Do we have NPCs in there now? So it's been a long time. It's been a long time since I uh, did any goity stuff. Police approach the station at a safe speed and be mindful of other pilots in the area. You can't even tell that there's no canopy. Canopy looks fine. Sixty-three percent. Why are we? Uh, why are we on oxygen? Take note of speed restrictions, Commander. Slow down. Yeah, kind of in a bit of a sticky situation here, though, buddy. There is a crack on that side window on the right hand side. You guys see it? Right, you see where... See this building on my right hand side with all the lights on it? It's got three arrows, three chevrons. Well, just to the left of those chevrons, you can see the crack on the glass. See that? I wonder if it's just let some air seep out. The, um, <laughs> these enhanced wep uh, the weapons are great. Now, let's see if we can find here. I guess Galnet, right? B. Uh, no, don't read that out. So here we go. Must be this one. Okay, so they've got fixed multi cannons with a gimbaled AX multi cannon scheduled. Gimbaled would be nice. I like those. Bit more power as well. So this is a CG, I, I believe, going on now. Let me have a look. I think they have, to, it's stuff that has to be delivered to. Bok something, a uh, Bok gateway perhaps or something, but it's not mentioned here that I can see. I wonder if it's mentioned somewhere else. Where would I find out about the... Uh... It'd be here, wouldn't it? It's got to be here. Yeah, just this one. So they're bringing out the fixed and the uh, 
gimbaled enhanced multi cannons. Frontier put on, on Facebook that they that it was a CG. In that case, we'll have a look. Yeah. Oops, missed it. <laughs> okay. So, it is Bok. Do it. But this is a delivery, right? So you have to deliver advanced catalyzers or copper or gallium polymers and synthetic reagents to Bok Orbital. And it's a fair way through already. I'm not sure I agree with this. That they're, they're putting... They've just introduced new AX stuff. You know, goidy stuff. And they're, they're, they're locking AX tech weaponry behind a CG event. So if, if you don't or you can't contribute, you lose out, right? You don't get these. Uh, not a big fan of that. I think they should be available for everybody. Hmm. Okay, so... We're all done. Let's go and see if we can find some... Scouty stuff. So if... For the Authorus, I'm looking to go to Thargoid Alert Systems, right? Thargoid Alert. Let's try. 6,000 tons. I don't even have a ship for that. I'd, I'd need to buy like a T9 or something and just outfit it with just cargo. And just do delivery after delivery. But I'd need... Um, I'd need at least 12 trips full. To do the 6,000 tons. Oh, they'll be for sale at everyone at rescue ships. Oh, okay. So it's not. So what's the point of doing it with the CG then? It's just. Is that just so that they get unlocked and then it's unlocked for everybody? Oh, that's okay. It used to be, you know, like CGs, you would unlock like stuff and it would only be available to you if you took part. But if they're for sale for everybody, then that's fine. Mm. All right, so where are we going? To the system, into the galaxy map. So let's go there. I'll try an author. Oh no, we haven't got the right weapons for Authorus. I don't. I don't think. I'd rather have the the shard cannon zone for that one. Yeah, let's not let's not do that. Maybe we can, maybe there'll be time to come back and do that. Um, so I'm going to try a system that just has, I'm going to try this one. And see if we can find any uh, threat for conflict zones, AX conflict zones. Because the multis these enhanced multis versus the scouts is super easy because you can keep your distance. They are quick to kill, and you don't have you don't need massive thrust anywhere. Anywhere you just it's just they're just around you. It's nice and easy. Okay, well, the fact that they're available to everyone kind of means that we just leave it for other people to do it then. <laughs> I guess, yeah, I think you're right. Makes sense then. How many jumps we got? Okay, so two more. Well, already this crate has proven itself better than the, the Python, at least in terms of the canopy. Three, two, 
But having 25 minutes of oxygen means you don't need to leave the battle straight away. You can still stick, stick out there for a while, as long as you know how long it's going to take you to get back. If you, you know, you just do one timed event, you just time it to go back. Two jumps plus the distance to the starport, or three jumps I think it would be in this case. You allow like a minute per jump, plus the distance, uh, the distance of the starport, so you time that as well. Add a bit in for the landing, uh, but once you're inside anyway, it doesn't matter. Get your oxygen back. <laughs> so, your atmosphere. Hello, Louis. Yeah, every every shot counts. Louis. Louis, is that right? Louis? 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 Uh, Jose, they will be for sale for everyone at rescue ships. Okay. Well, I'm glad, I'm glad that's the case. I like these turreted ones, though. But obviously, when you're, when you've got them, when you've got them, um, what do you call it, set to target only, isn't that going to be the same as time to leave? Isn't that going to be the same as, like, the fixed ones? But obviously, fixed ones are going to have plenty more power. He's got plenty of speed to be able to outrun him. Oh, your name's Johnny. Okay. <laughs> I would never have guessed. Yeah, after this one, Zonta will come back, refit the shards, and then we'll go, we'll go out and... See if we can find an authoress. Didn't do, didn't manage to do it last time. Yeah, we need to have like engineered canopy, reinforced, reinforced canopy. Or Frontier can just up the integrity of canopies across all the ships. It's it's thirty three oh eight for God's sake. <laughs> We're in the thirty fourth century here. So let's see if there's anything in here. Oh, they're just resource extraction sites. Probably not going to find anything. Do we necessarily need ringed planets? I remember we found them quite easy last time, didn't we? We just went into a, a Thargoidy site and there was loads of these AX conflict zones. Maybe down here in the Maelstrom thing. How many Maelstroms do we have now anyway? I mean, there's one there, there's one there, so that's two. There's one. Up. It looks like that there's one per these groups and I believe that there are more coming, so... Yeah, hold on to your boots. You can't, you, uh, you can't engineer the AX weapons anyway, though. But yeah, even if you, yeah, some of them are just good as they are, aren't they? Can you imagine engineering shard cannons? The only thing you can do with them is synthesize up to um, premium ammo. Is that right, Razor? Wow. Oh, here we go. Should have run away. We've got two of them here. Just put them at the bottom of the radar and make sure they're level. And then just boost. Quickest way to get out. 
modded charts from Mbuni. Are they just free to go? They just go fit them. But you need per you need you need to do work to get. You can't just go into Mbuni, right? You need a permit, and for that you need to get allied. Yeah, that's going to require. I'll have to do maybe do that work off stream or something. Do some missions for them. Unless I don't know, I've got a I've got a little bit of exploration data. But yeah, that's a good point, David. Uh, yeah. Hello, night owl. Crate, yeah, crate sounds good. It's my favorite in VR cockpit. It's awesome in VR. It's got cables and wires dangling all over the place. I love it. Okay, let's try. I don't know what's in these. Uh, they don't say like threat threes and fours and stuff, but let's just. Have, I just want to have a look in here and see what's inside. And then I can regret it later. So we've got low, medium, high, and I believe there's all. I know there is. Very high. Eliminate Thargoid vessels in the R. I think you mean area, but okay. Is it area? <laughs> Eliminate thyroid vessels, and it could be telling you where to stick your weapons, right up its R. Or it could be augmented reality. I don't think so. You need guardian materials. I've got a few guardian materials, but I. I but do you also need to be allied? I, I, I'm sure I read that you had to do missions to become allied with them. And if you can't get in, I suppose you have to go to a neighbouring system. I'll have to. I'll have to research and find out what the deal is with them, Booney. Modified shards would be very cool indeed. That would be nice. Well, I'm hoping that in here it's just scouties. It would make sense, seeing as how it's a conflict zone. It would make sense that they were just scouts. And hopefully I'm not the only human in here. So what we'll be looking at is similar battle to what we have at the bases and the platforms, only without the platforms. That's what I'm expecting. Oh, Stream Elements does that thing. Oh. Thought it was night. What? Okay, turn that. Do missions for Azimuth. There you go. That's what it was. Thank you, Humble. Well, we've got humans. That's not good. Anomalies are never good. Hello, Goidy. We have a progress bar again at the top, as you can see. But if it, if it remains to be just the little fellas, then the only thing that's going to stop me from staying here the, the whole distance is ammunition. Oh, I tried to dodge it and I couldn't get to the boost button in time. Okay. So, I'm going to have to do this, if I can do it without panicking. OK, 
because I've got no big Thargoids here to take away my hatchet or to hatch whatever do my to break my cargo hatch yeah right So, missiles as well to contend with. Jesus. How often are we going to get this? That doesn't sound good. I'm assuming the energy surge is... Oh, maybe not. Uh, oh, the playability here is just gone for me. Why can't we have goidy instances where there's no big goids? It's just scouts. Yeah, it's difficult to know where the explosions are going to be, Razor. You know? The only time you know where the explosion is, is after they've gone off. You know? And there's the cargo hatch malfunction, which means you can say goodbye to your limpets. Nah, I'm done here. I don't like the gameplay. It's, it's too scripted, and you, you lose your limpets, you know? which costs you to synthesize quite heavily and then the big Thargoids never stay away so it's not for me fun but not for me I don't think hello flexible note when you kill them they explode Not even going to uh, give that one an answer. I, I, you guys are telling me stuff I already know. Um, I didn't use the field neutralizer because I'm streaming and therefore I'm talking. So if, if somebody says energy surge detected, there's a good chance I'm not going to pick it up. I'm not going to hear it in time or at all because I'm too busy talking. You know, it, it's not the same concentration as when you're doing it on your own. I don't pick up everything that's, every sound that's happening on the game. Yeah, doing it in a wing is, is, is a good idea, but also I think they should have put in something where you can just take on scouts, you know. Instead of scouts and goids, 
they happen on the Thargoid invasion places, you know. But in the in the uh, AX conflict zones, because the moment you get a big goid coming in, the definition of low intensity is just not valid anymore. That's not low intensity. Is there a steam achievement? <laughs> no, as far as I know, there isn't. Um, no, I don't think so. Yeah, for me, you can't call it low intensity and have Cyclops interceptors coming in. So yeah, I, I, I don't agree with some of the gameplay elements here. So... Not holding out much hope for this next bit, but we'll have a look for an Authorus. Uh, I've never tried one before, so I don't know what to expect. Little ones that interdict me. Mm. Normally, the big ones I get interdicted by. Well, the idea there was to lock in Ray Gateway and then move the ship, but that they have that little bug, don't they, on this on this navigation panel? that puts the cursor in a random place down the list. And so I wasn't able to do that. Well, let's go for the Authorus. Uh, so we're looking for Thargoid alert systems, right? And we want Threat 4 inside a Thargoid alert system. That's if it's any different to that, let me know. But as far as I'm aware, that's what I was have been told. Hmm. I had I had high hopes for this because when I was flying the ASP which was not really anti-Xeno. I had a couple of anti-Xeno weapons on it, and that was it. The rest was just standard base jump, uh, you know, settlement, settlement mission jumping asp. That's all it was. And we were in a Thargoid battle, and we took, you know, I was there, and there was other NPCs, and we took down three Thargoid hearts. You know, and I thought, oh, we've got a nice little thing going on here. But wait till I get my, my anti Xeno ship built up. And so I was really looking forward to it. But I've been really disappointed now since then. Why did my ASP outperform? Or did they have the wrong numbers and they corrected it in 1401? I don't know. Hello, Kevin Wilson. Ah, oh, yeah, not doing too bad. Uh, right, just checking rotation of this thing. Okay, there we go. We've prepared a landing pad for your arrival, Commander. Welcome to our station. Request approved. Set down on landing pad 1-1. 11, you mean. It's round this way. All righty. Last chance saloon, then. Otherwise, it's back to maintain heading and slow to approach speed, Commander. 
we'll be back I'll be back to sniping or exploration. Oh, and uh, exobiology, of course. The big money spinner. I don't like the fact that this this killing your cargo hatch thing mechanic that needs to go. They they should remove that. That's just a, a complete annoyance that they target the hatch, so that you you lose all your limpets. You know, they they're cheap to buy, but when you're synthesizing them. They're costly. And of course, once it's broken, you can't synthesize more, right? Because it'll just, the hatch is broken, so it's not going to work. Oh dear. Threat 4 with the salvage icon. Don't worry, Matt. Uh, my, my tolerance is running out on the Thargoids, so I... I don't worry. <laughs> Uh, let's have a look. So, into outfitting. I, I'm very, I am very impressed with those multi cannons, though, versus the scouts. It, it, that's a breeze. They are an absolute breeze. And the fixed ones are going to be even more powerful. But the gimbaled ones, I think, are going to sit just really nicely there. Uh, Jomic75. Hey, thanks for the sub, matey. Appreciate it. Welcome to the to the kennels, I suppose. <laughs> Welcome to the crew. Uh, okay, so let's store these. Definitely going to be keeping hold of these babies. The turreted ones are, are plenty good enough, aren't they? So generally, the fixed ones have got the best damage. Gun built, gimbal next best, and then turreted the least damage but these babies man they probably go through less uh, ammo because if I have fixed <laughs> I'm going to be missing quite a bit so for me gimbaled would be spot on perfect for these but uh, how effective are these against interceptors, cyclops, you know? I don't know. Anyway, uh, can't go there. You see, rather than have stored modules here, wouldn't it be better to just click in here and then have them at the bottom here? I don't know. Maybe. Right, so let's go to hard points. And we want experimental, and we want these. I love these weapons. I like the sound of them, and I like the damage that they do. Uh, see, I knew this was wrong, because it was over there. Um, oh, wait a minute, though. Yeah, look. Uh, okay. Are these the stored? Yeah, stored here. Yeah. So these are your buying ones, so you can access the stored ones from here. I haven't got that many. One, two, three, four, five. I only bought... I'm going, I'm going the old-fashioned way. <clears throat> sure I didn't get that many. I might have. Oh, no, this is the stored. I'm getting lost here with this. It's not making sense to me. Right, equip. Uh, empty and... Yeah, it's different, isn't it? Stored. That's what I needed to be. Okay. So let's have a look at the twos. One, two... Right, so they are the same. Okay. Trying to navigate my way around the outfitting now. 
And let's do one <clears throat> one of those. Okay, good. Now, point defense, no. Oh, point defense to protect the cargo hatch. Let's do it. If they have one here, we'll take out one of the heat sinks and we'll stick a point defense in. Good call. Good call, guys. And they don't have. But let's find a place that does it. Uh, so, into Inara. And we want to go to outfitting and type in point defense yes good call guys that might that might be a good thing take away a little bit of the annoyance uh okay so the closest one we've got two fleet carriers i don't trust those so let's go to balante which is literally next door problem with that is let's not go to balante because the station is a little distance out. Best one's going to be Midnahas. Mid it's a jump away and the hub is right next to the local star. Let's go and pick up a point defense. <coughs> we'll sort the fire groups out later. So, let's go there. Pick one up. Yes. Good call, guys. Good one. <laughs> now, uh, point defense. Probably want if I can, and I. I'm sure there is one. I, I would want to place it underneath the ship, not on top, right? Where my cargo hatch is. Just for... Jesus. Just for better protection. Oops. Turning back into it. It looks like we've lost, for some reason, that we've lost the target. So I'm going to have to plot the route instead. It was focused on the station. I don't know what the hell. You are clear of the station. Control. Oh, and deflecting missiles as well. So, those incoming missiles, it will deflect against those and, of course, do the cargo hatch, right? Both. Maybe we should get a, a couple. Are the heat sinks needed then? We get two point defense, one on top, one on the bottom. <clears throat> yeah, definitely put put it on the on the belly of the ship if we can. Hopefully there is a hard point at the bottom doing that. So we need to go to this one. <clears throat> yeah, Burgess Hub. We'll pick up a point defense right here. Seventy percent usage now. How did that come down? We were on seventy-six. Have I missed something out? Not really. Maybe I've made a mistake on that. Nope. 
Uh, Thomas Go. Thank you for your subscription. Welcome to the uh, the hounds. <laughs> I'll have to check what the, uh, what the what the count is at in terms of the subs. Oh, okay. Six nine two three currently. Not too shabby at all. Greetings. Come on, burn off a bit of speed here. Thank you. I'm having to bear in mind here that I am running shieldless. I used to run shieldless T9 through that mail slot when I was doing cargo runs. So to, to get a, a skinny little crate through there, yeah. Contact, ship secured. <laughs> Is that right, Night Owl? The dog did that. <laughs> plus, plus, plus. Seriously? And wait a minute, the dog did all the pluses and then pressed the enter key? Mm. Okay. <laughs> He's telling us something. Right. Uh, okay, let's go to outfitting then. Constant little tweaks being made to this thing. We'll get it, guys. We'll get there. And yeah, I can definitely tell as well that the hull is a little bit more... Uh, resistant now. It's it's taking a bit more damage. Not coming down as much. So we have top and top. I knew they were at the top. So we're going to change the position. So what we're going to do is get rid of the heatsink launcher. Sell that. And then we want to move this to this slot. Swap module to there, and then on the belly point defense. That's got a different icon than before. And was it called turret before as well, or just point defense? Have they added the word turret on? I don't know. All right. So that should take care of itself. And uh, let's just double check the fire groups. I think we're okay with them, but I just want to be double sure. So decontamination limpet is on F. We've got scanner on. Oh, what's going? On? What's 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 what's? Oh, this is all gone out now. Yeah. The fan has been hit. Okay, so we want the Xeno scanner there. Build neutralizer there. This then would be discovery scanner, then that and that. Then this is completely out. We want data. What the hell are you up to? Pretty sure it was heat sink, and then this one was de decontamination. 
So, in the main fire, firing group we'll be using, we go back one for decontamination, we go back two for heat sink, and we go forward one for the neutralizer. See, when they say, you know, shut down field or whatever their voice is, whatever they say, I've got to make sure I have to jump to B. I should be in B after, anyway. I should really be in B. Once I've got a scan done, but if it's already been scanned, as the scouts seem to be, once I know it's scanned, I should be firing in this group. And, that, and B should be my default once the scan's done, if I need to scan it at all. And then I've got the field neutralizer ready. The problem then is I've got to jump back to... So, I, yeah, I'm right. I am right. This needs to be the other way around. It, I know it's a bit weird, but we'll have the scanner on B, and then we'll jump back to A, and then we've got easy access to F and E. Okay. I prefer it that way. I'll get I'll get it. I'll get there. We'll, we'll get there. Hello, Linkster. Fine health. I wouldn't say that, but I'm alive. Yeah. It's snowing where I am. Hello, nasty dude. Uh, there was little bits of snow. Yeah, my drive was a bit snowy and my, uh, yeah, out the back a little bit. It hadn't laid everywhere. It was just in patches. Yeah. It's, it's not, uh, yeah, it's not great. I think it's either tonight or tomorrow night we're going to be looking at um, minus four at night. Anyway. Where would we... Okay, so let's go here. Let's go see if we can find... Uh, so we're looking for uh, state. Are we? Okay. So toggle all. Thargoid alert, right? And now we've got to find a yellow dot. Most likely, okay. Which is the nearest, the down or the across? Well, the down is 60, and the across is 60. So, three jumps. I'll go to this one because there's other yellow dots in the area, in case we don't get any luck here. Now, do we do this via FSS or should we just go to the nav beacon? Hmm. Nav beacon would be faster, wouldn't it, really? No shields, Rusty. No shields. bindings your backup files Ugh. Do you have your back when was your backup done I mean it's just a case of replacing the custom 3.0 and 3 uh, 4.0 isn't it files but it's such a nightmare isn't it another thing I do sometimes as well as having um, backups of the bindings, is I have my screenshot program, ShareX, right? Just share with an X at the end, ShareX. And I would go through all of my bindings page by page and just screenshot every single one and then just save them somewhere in a zip file. That's okay, Matt, don't worry about it. And then just, just save them somewhere in a zip file and call them, you know, and then you can look at your screenshots that you've taken and you can match up your keybinds and do it that way. Ah. All right, Matt. 
that. Sorry, I didn't mean to suggest you weren't, but I'm just telling you what I do as well. <laughs> I haven't taken screenshots of my binds for too long. I probably need to do new ones. I do it with other games, Flight Sim as well. Just screenshot all the key binds. Well, the Flight Sim will take you a good afternoon <laughs> to do that. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, no, it's uh... It's a nightmare. And Flight Sim's got more keybinds. Thankfully you don't have to do all of them. I don't think it would be even possible unless you've got 20 different... You can't have 20 keyboards. <laughs> but it's not enough. It's got hundreds of keyboards, uh, hundreds of keyboards, hundreds of keybinds, and yeah. Uh... Sounds like my ship's falling apart. Dude. I really don't feel like taking on one of these guys. I'm finding this all too common. It's happening too often. I don't have the ship to fight. A, a full-blown Thargoid one-on-one. -on -one. It's a... Uh, un until this ship is fully engineered, it's a complete and utter suicide mission. <laughs> Subscription from the dog. I can't do it, Night Owl. Not against, not against the big Thargoids. It's for me. It's uh, even with the rusty dog anaconda, I can, I can kill a, a, a cyclops in ten seconds flat. But if I miss the timing, it starts to get a little bit awkward. So, and that's with a full-blown anaconda, which is completely tanked. Uh, for Thargoids. This this thing is nowhere near tanked for Thargoids. Oh, I've just noticed they've got little Thargoidy wheels on them. Okay. So this is a Thargoid threat system. And I want to confirm that. It is because it's yellow. Thargoid alert. That's what I meant. So what are we are we looking at transient or yeah, transient? These ones are what? Concentrated and this will be uh, planets. Alright. Might be a little bit too close to the sun, but let's see. So uh, that's nothing. It's threat four, but it's not what we want. Threat seven. <laughs> I'm not going to find one, are we? Anyone knows the location of of an authoress? Let me know. I'll just head there. Can't get into those as far as I'm aware. So they're just the rogue ones are just there for show, aren't they? If they don't do anything.
This is all human stuff. Ah! Is that it? Ship signatures, threat four? Is that what we're looking for? Is that it? There's nothing left here. Right, are these things scannable? Okay, so that's C. Alright, let's see. Staicho? Staicho? Yeah, thank you, Staicho, for the. Uh... Oh, God, has it, has it disappeared? Timed out. Frontier, like they're just putting up hurdles after hurdles. It timed out. It should just stay there until somebody goes in and does something. Oh boy. Not gonna let me honk again, is it? I swear. It's it's tasking me too much, guys. I can't handle all this. All these all the nuances that Frontier have put into this, I can't deal with them. I just can't. The moment I find they're, they're difficult to find these little bastards, and as soon as you get one, it disappears. Uh I ain't going to no sevens, don't worry about that. There'll be no sevens. I, I can't press the honk in here anymore. That's the that's the D key. Not doing it. Non human threat four. So does anyone know what is inside that thing that I just found? The threat four that said AX ship, whatever it was. Does any or oh, AX vessel? I don't know what the hell it said. Does anyone know what that is? What what's inside those? Oh, I'm losing my patience with this stuff. It's just simply down to the fact that I'm not agreeing with some of the game mechanics. Yeah, Basilisk is a 6, Medusa is a 7, Hydra is an 8, Cyclops is a 5. This isn't annoying. And these guys don't stay still for a scan either. It's not like jumping into a threat five. Which are they? Are they around anymore? Yeah, I thought that as well, Andy. Threat four used to be scouts. So, I, I... I don't know. If I see another one of those AX ship threat fours, I'm going to jump in. Because it's the only way I'm going to find out for myself what's really in there. I should have turned later, but never mind. And that's the reason why. 
I don't know what the maelstrom would be, off the scale, impenetrable, 999 I would say. Right, I wonder why these are so, so much smaller. Is it tr right? That's what it is. AX weapons fire. 14 minutes remaining. We're going. I don't care what else is in the system. We're going. I want to see what's in there. I don't care the distance. We've got plenty of time. Pity you couldn't be in scanning the rest of it with the FSS now, but you can't. Are these things persistent, though, Zontar? Because if they're not persistent, then there's no point heading anywhere. Because if, if they're if they're timed to pop in and out like this, like this is, with so much time remaining, then yeah. Oh, okay. So it's not a definite sighting. Then it's just. I've got a headache already just trying to think about all the variables here. <sighs> yeah, if the if it's non-persistent then it's just a it's a crapshoot basically. but a headache now. I can't seem to wear headphones any longer without getting headaches. Almost as if it's from the weight of the headphones. Kinda. Weird. Well, if for no other reason, at least we'll find out what's in here. Or I'll find out. And they'll probably be all scouts, and then I wish I had my multi cannons on me. Two or four eight five. Okay. Well, hopefully it's not too far away, but I'm not going to go anywhere until I've done this. This is top priority now. In the name of science. I'm not going to, you know, spend all my time just hunting this thing down. If it's elusive, I'll just have to find one when I find one. And I've got a feeling it's just going to start running around. And Do you guys bother scanning them? Do you even get the chance to? It's, I don't know. It's the mouse? Wow. How did you, how did you figure that out, Matt? Man, this has been the longest 8,000 light seconds ever. I still think we're going to get interdicted before we get there. Yeah, I, I'm not in agreement with Frontier <laughs> classifying um, a Cyclops as as a low intensity, <laughs> you know, as being in a low intensity uh, conflict zone. Yeah. Not really.
Yeah, but the log file won't tell you that your batteries are out, right? No threat in these. Well, he found four in four hours. Okay, then I'm not going to bother. What? Oh, AX pilot. Br okay, so there's NPCs here. See, now I need me bloody... I need me other things. This is no good. I've got me shards, guys. Okay, we need to leave. I'm not prepared. I'm in the wrong fire group. I've already got caustic damage, which I don't think I want to remove. So either they repair me or we blow up. I'm not going to repair it. It's too soon. So the missiles that cause caustic as well, doesn't the point defense... We got the wrong weapons now. I think you have to just get, you know, decide the kind of instance you want to go into and then just outfit your ship for that. I told you, every time there's a reload, We've got a perfect hit. We are completely on the wrong weapons. They might not even give me limpets here. I haven't got any. It's pointless. I'm going to take the cargo rack out, actually, because... If they're just going to keep targeting it, Target then it's pointless having them, I reckon. Is that it? Are we done? And they don't feed you limpets here. Okay. That's a fair distance to move. Well, I can't hang around for them to send me limpets. So, let's go. So we're currently here, hip 2187. Ideally, I need my map back. So let's go to realistic mode. Go there. 20187. You guys can remember that for me. Because I'll forget 20187. I'm not going to stick around. I don't trust it. I'm, I've, I've lost... <laughs> I've lost faith, let's put it that way, to rely on these. I know a lot of it is... I know a lot of it's scripted, but... That one. But I don't trust the scripting for that. For the limpets.
So it looks like our only saviour is going to be a fleet carrier. Ha! Yeah, if, if the spawn rate of these things, Zontar, is so rare, these authorous things, if, they, if it's such a, thing, a rare thing, then I really don't want to do it on the stream today, because it's probably just a, something where I would be flitting around. What I should do is just flit around the galaxy off stream, and if I happen to come across one, I'll hit the record button. That'll be the best option. Because, uh, yeah, I, I'm not going to go chasing one. Well, somebody just said that there was, they don't, they'd found four in four hours. That's rare. That's, for me, that's rare. I'll take one look, if it's not too far away. Because at least then, if... <laughs> if I don't like the authoress either, at least then I'll know it's the whole thing's a bust for me. Until... I don't know, maybe maybe the ship needs a re-outfit or something. It's a pity you can't carry weapons in your own cargo bay, eh? And then you could just... But then... <laughs> There wouldn't be any logic to switching them out on the fly, though, would there? Unless you do a spacewalk. Hey, Hans. Be. The hull is holding up pretty well, to be fair. A little bit of extra damage here is not going to really matter. We slam the baby down. Running up the chat a second. 20,485. Not even 20,000. Can't even say it right. But I know what I mean. Oh, it is 20,000. Yeah, it is. I got it right. Oh, Eight jumps. Population zero. Am I in the right place then? Because you guys said go for high pop. And it's not Thargoid alert either. Oh, 485. Please forgive me. I don't know. Uh, 20485. That's easier, isn't it? Right there. <laughs> Almost there. Yeah. Hey, 
got quite a way to go yet, I think. Hey. Shape release. Restrict speed until a carrier is far behind you. Vestige of hope, then. Speed restrictions have been lifted. We'll see you soon, Commander. I didn't respect your restrictions. So I think it was definitely a good move to switch from Python to Cryd. Even though there's less optionals, internals, there's, uh, you know, it was still a better move. Let's pick up some fuel. So, are we definitely, definitely looking for uh, non-human threat 4? Right, so we have transient right at the bottom and transient not so at the bottom. Don't know which one it's going to be, so we'll choose the bottom one first. Okay, that's picked out the non human. The non human, for, okay, so we're just looking for a four then. But that's it. That Those, those ones out at the bottom, they're gone now. So unless we wait here for one to pop in, not really prepared to do that. Let's see what these are. Yeah, these are different. AX weapons fire six. I think for me, this would be what I'm looking for. Like if if I was to f just fit the uh, multi cannons, the enhanced multis, this looks like the kind of instance that I'd want to go into if they're just scouts. And then what? You you wait and you get an, you get another. You get another wave. Uh, oh, Jack says non-human threat four with a salvage symbol next to it in the nav panel. You're right. But to get it in the nav panel, right? They're not going to appear straight away, right? I have to either FSS the entire system. I don't think there's. Is there a nav beacon here? Yeah, there is. Let's go to the nav beacon. Make life a bit easier. That should reveal all I would, I would imagine. Hello, Ramoin. How goes the war? For me personally, I don't know. I'm. I'm not into it yet. I guess I haven't found my groove. What the hell? This nav beacon's giving me the run around. Yeah, some of the game mechanics are a bit off for me. I think there's too many, too many hyper, hyper jump interdictions. They should be reducing those. And uh, I'm sure I could make a decent list.
Let's go to the Nab Beacon first, Santa. Do it that way. Well, I suppose at least they fleshed out the Horizons content a bit more, right? Like, you never get a Goid jumping into a Nav Beacon, do you? out and see what we got. Yes, yeah, Santa, I, ha I have heat sinks. It says it on the left there. Uh, but I'm in the wrong mode. There we go. Right, so uh, let's have a look. Yep. Okay. Non human seven. And that's it. End of game. Yeah. Is it going to be worth? Oh man, I'd love to have my uh, multi cannons on and jump into that one. Assuming that they're only scouts, of course. Now, these symbols here is this low, medium, and high security? Because the, the pluses are normally dictating security. So, what, what are these for? Uh, I don't know, Humble Monk, I don't know. Uh, I've got to find one first, but even then... Yeah, I know, they'll they'll pop up. sure I'm in the mood for <laughs> waiting this out though if I'm honest uh, so maybe yeah maybe we can head somewhere I just saw four and I stopped and it wasn't what we wanted uh, but yeah maybe we can head somewhere like just pick a port or something that's because all the ones that are on here are a little bit too close Let's have a look. I don't know, do we pick something like this? Just head towards it and see. I don't know. All right. Those pluses used to be, used, before settlements were a, th a thing in Elite, pluses used to dictate the security level. So I guess that's all changed. <laughs> now you see why you don't get a manual with Elite Dangerous, because they'd have to reprint it every week. So, you just look for these. Because I can't keep... Like, if one was to pop up now, how am I going to discover the damn thing? Is he just going to pop up on here? Or is, or am I going to have to, do I have to descan again? I don't know, guys. It's like I've just bought the game yesterday, isn't it? Yeah, you see, this This is a problem, Zonta. I'm not looking forward to the Altarus, to be honest, because it, it doesn't look like it's it's it sounds to me like something that's going to piss me off 
Uh, I'm assuming that it, uh, that the shard cannons are the correct weapon to use over the multis, the big ones. Right, for some reason, it's not letting me honk again. Maybe I need, do I need to fully, I don't know, all these 22 out of 22. Yeah, it's not letting me honk anymore. I didn't really know there was a limit, but apparently there is now. I have no idea whether this is a bug or not. Hmm. Yep, yeah, I can't honk again. So if anything new has popped up, it's maybe it would just pop up here as a signal, right? Anyway, the signal will just appear on its own. Yeah, I don't believe it's worth the time to find it either. So I think it's a case of strapping on some multis and having a look at those AX instances AX weapons fire instances I believe was here yeah threat six see they've got weapon fire and ship signatures how long is that one eight minutes Oof, that's gonna be tight that's gonna be tight see, this is different we we went into AX weapon Weapon fire. 10,000 light seconds in eight minutes. Hmm. Good evening, Richard. How are you? Uh, okay, Zonta. You've convinced me. I, I have... Uh, I'm not interested in the Orthrus anymore. It just sounds like the biggest Thargoid annoyance to any pilot, so I think not. Yeah, I think not. I think Orthrus can just take a running jump and go to hell. Let's try not to um, let's try not to uh, overshoot this. All, all AX weapons remain on this thing. Oh God. Hey, Budman. Thank you, Bud, for your kind donation of ten pounds. A little fanfare music to pee the time. <laughs> what if I change the music? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Budman. I appreciate it so much. Oh man. Imagine that in the middle of a goity fight. Thank you, Mr. Budman. I appreciate the uh, support very much. Awesome. <laughs> Not the jump, though. in plenty of time so let's see what the difference is between ship signatures and weapons fire
Yes, Bettini. Build a ship. Build something... tanked. <laughs> How come you guys are going with the challenges and stuff? Is there a reason you're going with those? And chieftains and things? See, don't forget on, on my anaconda, on the rusty... Commander Rusty Dog, the anaconda, it's still got the... Uh, the four weapon limit, obviously, and it has the it has the same four crystal, no, not crystal shards. <laughs> it has the same four shard cannons, but obviously it it can handle uh, four large ones as opposed to this one, three large and one medium. Hey, we got a sub. Giovanni Carrillo. Hey, Giovanni, thank you so much, mate. Oh, cheaper rebuy. Oh, okay. Thanks for the sub, Giovanni. Appreciate it. And they can run cold, very tanky, and hold for it. Okay. Well, I ain't seeing no AX ships here at the moment. that them? Dun, dun, have we got a standoff here? Is that another sub? Oh, or are, are these the goides? Is it going to be a standoff or are these human ships? They look human to me. They are. That would have been great if it had been goids, though. Okay, we've got another wave up here. Where are you guys all going? This is disappointing. Oh, jump point delta reached. Can we just stay with them? Oh yeah, okay, here we go. What's coming in though? Big goid, little goid. I'll be honest, I could probably do with a big goid considering the weapons I've got. Everyone's leaving! What are you doing? Hey! Scaredies! Oh god. Are you going as well? I don't understand what's going on. Great. Oxy little scout. Where are they all going? They're all leaving. And you then, buddy. Oh, that reticle. moment I line the thing up, it changes. Oh, cheers, Zonta. Just got a big bright light on my right-hand monitor there. <laughs> cheers, <laughs> cheers, Zonta. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. Yes, man. Indeed, thank you so much. Still Thank don't you, know. For your kind five pounds. I don't know why we get the repetition. Stream elements is weird. I'll have to just wipe it all out and start it again, I think. Do a new one. No Thargoid activity in the area. We'll start another sweep. Okay. There's a jelly behind me. I don't know what that is.
the hell happened to him? What do I do when I'm not playing Elite? Hello, Ad Astro Recordings. When I'm not playing Elite, I'm either watching videos on YouTube or I'm playing Flight Sim or Sim Racing or other games, other stuff, other content. Catching a few signals on the FSS, stay alert. Okay, well, at least we've got the chat so we know what's going on there. So we're expecting an anomaly to come in. And Jack Ash 138. Thank you for the sub, Jack Ash. Appreciate that. Oh, you're getting some nice subs today. All subs are nice. If a Thargoid arrives now, we'll have some backup. Yeah, yeah, you, you asked me that before. All peaceful at the moment, dude. Don't get too comfortable. Yeah, the same script. If a Thargoid arrives now, you just ask the same question. Do I waste these three shards in the magazine or what? I think at this rate I probably can. That just gives us a fresh reload. I mean, this is not the most dynamic thing. I'm going to give it another minute. Is it just me and you? Everybody else is... Everybody else gone. There's something else just appeared. But it can't be a goid because there's no frame shift anomaly to accompany it. I changed the uh, the message, the the video description of Mr. Budman. Yeah. Why no shields? Completely useless against Thargoids. They're pointless. Well, this is boring. We've got so this won't this guy's not an ex pilot. <clears throat> and this guy is. Let's see what we have. Last chance saloon, goides. Yay! Jesus! Get me out of here. Eleven minutes, we can do it. It's a distance, but we can do it. Right, so what's going to happen here is we'll jump in, it's going to annoy the crap out of me, and then we'll jump out again. <laughs> Guaranteed. This could be the very catalyst that puts me off the Thargoid gameplay for a while. At least until I have a ship that's a bit more engineered. And to do that, by God, I have to um, unlock a load of engineers yet. And to do that, I have to do a lot of work mining 500 tons of stuff. Basically, we have to get Rusty Dog back into the bubble. Get that AX Anaconda out of, you know, dust it off and get it out of the garage and... Uh, yeah. 
Because that thing, that thing will do quite nicely. I have no idea when. See, it, when, you, when you're in Super Cruise and you're flipping between the modes, you've got no idea where the hell anything is because it doesn't show you everything on the screen and it should but I think that's it you see there's nothing shown here in terms of your weaponry or anything but it should be the case that when you go through like this it should show them like in dark you know ghosted in like grayed out kind of thing and then, once you stop selecting your fire points, then they kind of disappear again. That's how it should work, but instead of just being invisible. Got a dog barking outside now. Non-stop, I can't do with shards. I'll have to do five volleys at a time. I one, yeah, one volley of five, and then just reload. One volley, reload. Well, silence just gonna make me overheat. The fact that I've got a heat sink there tells me I'm not in the right fire group. So C, B, oh yeah, no, the heat sink is staying there. Because I can use a key to drop a heat sink. I'm not going to like this, I know it, but I'm just going to do it for the sake of stream content. Uh, we're not talking about shields in general, though, closet bound. We're talking about, like, for taking on the goids. They're kind of useless for goids, anyway. At least that's what I was talking about. Right. And there's no point feeding me instructions during the battle either, because I won't see them. <laughs> so yeah, save your typing. Nothing? Scan him. Did I did it? I did it too soon. All right. Yeah. Did it too soon. Panicked a bit. Doesn't matter. Don't say anything. It happens. Like I said, when it comes to Thargoids, I'm still a bit rusty, so getting the, uh, the timing right is tricky for me. screwed now because it I can't do anything mm. 
Well, there's more than one here. So I'm assuming it's... Oh, there's a couple of scouts. Alright, we're back to normal. Pointless. Absolutely pointless. Unless... No, they're all damaged. They're screwed. The weapons are all screwed. See? So is that because of the field neutralizer? I got caught in that? Is that what did it? Or is it just... Was it something else? In which case, Guardian weapons are no good. You'd have to use AX weapons, maybe. But what AX weapons would you bring? Guardian weapons? Absolutely useless against this thing. Let's go back home. Yeah, we're not in the maelstrom though. I mean, this is like, I want to know what, what killed the Guardian technology right now in that instance. Was it, was it the fact that I got caught in the shutdown field or, you know, Matt, it's I'm um, giving up, mate. Sorry. Um, maybe next time, maybe next week, we'll give it a go. Um, but right now, um, I'm done with the goits for, for today. But I'm glad you got all your keys working. It was the wake. Okay. Yeah, so that means if you don't time the wake, uh, not the, uh, the wake you said, so not the not the neutralizer. Hmm. So just staying away from the wake then is the is the key to that then is it? Well, that's kind of pointless, isn't it, then, Zonta? The Frontier did that. So it's just there for eye candy, then. Right. Yeah, but it, there's, it's inconsistent, then, because the yellow caustic stuff doesn't damage the Guardian weapons in other places. DJ, real fake. Hey, thanks for the sub, matey. Oh, Rusty's really back in there. Um, yeah, so, you know, you can go in other clouds and you just get caustic damage, but it doesn't damage the Guardian weapons. So, it shouldn't really do it anywhere else. There should be a consistency. Now, when you mentioned the wake, do you mean the wake when it when it jumped in that wake? Oh, it's the EMP. Okay, let's just leave it at that then. So it, it was the uh, it was the yeah. Is it an EMP? Well, whatever. I know what you mean. Yeah, the surge, the energy surge. Okay, so if you don't time the energy surge, you lose your weapons, if you've got Guardians. That's basically the upshot. And if you've got AX weapons, apparently they're useless anyway. So you have to have Guardian weapons, so you have to time the thing. <laughs> Saw someone take one with mining lasers. Yeah, well, I, I, I can't do those silly little things. You know, I've, people taking down Hydras with Sidewinders and stuff, it's just all a bit silly but yeah it's so out of proportion you're probably better off with human weapons anyway because at least they can't do anything against them
Yeah, I know about the neutralizer, um, humble monk. I did use it. I just mistimed it because I just heard the I just heard the woman say it, and then uh, rather than do nothing, I thought I'd deploy it and see what happens. So I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do with this now. Yeah, once I get the timing back, I used to be able to do it okay. I'm sure I can figure it out again. But even in the days when we used to do it, you know, get the timing. Because we used to take turns, you know. When there was a, a wing of us, we used to take turns, like, I'll do the neutralizer this time, and then you do it next time, and blah, blah, blah. But even then, there was no guarantee you'd definitely hit it so yeah. so obviously there's a mixture in some of these instances where you, the ports start, where the platforms and the bases are being attacked there are mixtures of goids there, right? So you've got the scouts initially, and then you've got the big goid later. So what you'd ideally want is a mixture between shards, for example, and AX multi-cannons. And I feel that fitting two plus two is insufficient. So I think I'm definitely leaning towards the idea that Frontier should lift the four weapon limit. Especially seeing as how they've put up all of these nuances in the game mechanics now. I think there should be no, no limit on the amount of weapons you can fit. I think the four limit now is ridiculous. Just fit as many as your power as your power plant can handle, I guess. Landing successful. Command system shut down. Welcome to our starboard, Commander. Yeah. It is weird, DJ, but it's it has happened, so I don't know what to do now. going to step away from goids for a little while. On the very first stream, and even the second one, it was, I had fun with it. With the, I, I had more fun against the Thargoids with the Asp than I have with the actual AX ship. That's, that shouldn't be right. Hello, gain damage. Well, some people saying wake, some people saying EMP. I don't know. The only way to find out is to experience it, I suppose. Knowing me, I got caught in both. I'm just going to quickly check up on here for a sec. Um. No. Really could do with a scav mission right now. Look at all these, they're all in the red. Um, yeah, I just want to step away from the goides. <laughs> These seem, I don't know, these seem kind of lackluster now in, in 
comparison. Grab a chip from a crash site. Yeah, I've only got limited slots though, Matt, you know. Now, do they have extra on them? Where do you go to get the new heat sinks? I'll tell you what we could do. I mean, I don't have a lot of time left. But at least we could make a start. Let's let's have a look. Uh, so let's go over to Mbuni. And we'll just pinpoint it so we've got it. Now, we have to do missions for Azimuth to get into here. So, if we go here, and how do I find out who all the people are here? All right, first thing we're going to do is get back into map mode and toggle these all back on. Blatant star. The heat sinks. Oh, they hold four. Okay. That's like one extra, right? Okay. You can do that with engineering as well, though. <clears throat> okay, hold on. So, permit is required. So, you have to do it for, by a azimuth, right? Do you have to... I know I'm asking questions of things I should know, but that's just down to my memory. Do you have to have visited a system to know who the controlling faction is? Where do I find out all the factions? Hmm. All right, well, let's, let's put, I'll think about the heat sinks another time. Let's have a look at this. If I want to go to a system where they've got, where Azimuth is one of the factions, is it Azimuth? Is, is Azimuth a faction, is what I'm asking. You know what, I'm just going to fly there. Now, I believe frame rate suddenly died. I believe the ASP is here. Obviously it isn't. Okay. I thought my ASP was here. We'll have to go get it. Come on. Okay. Where is my asp then if it's not here? current location. Oh, okay. I was expecting... Yeah, never mind what I was expecting. <laughs> never mind. Right, no shields on this either, so... Is, did I just take them off? It could be.
What? What? What the hell's going on here? The modified bi-weave shield generator that I have should already... Go back. It should already be on the crate. Oh, this is not making any sense. I put this on the crate. What's the modification? Yeah, that's the one. Okay, we'll put it on this one. Oh, I took it off, didn't I? I took the shields off. Okay. Alzheimer's kicking in, guys. Right, there you go. Right, so we got that. And... We're missing... Oh, it looks like I did remove it. Yeah. So the actual good frame shift drive is on the on the crate. We're gonna have to swap swap it around. I need I need to have a second engineered frame shift drive to grade five. 36. That's not too bad. I might I might just I might just put up with that. All right. I only switched to this ship because of the jump range, but I can't be bothered swapping them out if I'm honest. Okay, four jumps. So we go there. or other neighboring systems and look for azimuth missions. Get allied and then we'll unlock the enhanced shard cannons from Mbuni. That might give us better chance with the Thargoids. Because if I don't do things like this, I'm, I, I won't have enough patience left for the Thargoids to do, you know, to mess with them. So, yeah, if I want to, if I want to take on the Thargoid content, I'm going to have to do things like this. I don't know why the frame rates have just died. It's a, it's a bug that they've had since patch 13, I think. Yeah, maybe 12. Since update 12 or 13, they've had this bug in there. All right, let's go. Nice to have shields. All clear. I received threat, Commander. So, I, I may have time for a mission, but I just want to see what system I need to be in. Maybe hand in some uh, cartographic data as well. Also, would handing in exobiology that would push your ranking up, right? If at least if Azimuth is the major faction, handing in um, plants, plant plantage, plantage data would uh, would do that, right? Because that way you make make a bit of money, and also um, get your rep up. Did I say ranking? I meant rep. Yeah, get your rep up to uh, allied quite bloody quickly as well if you're handing in that kind of money. So yeah, road. Still on the road to Thargoidy stuff. Plenty to do. And I'll look in I will look into swapping out the whole reinforcements with normal ones.
I wonder who first discovered that caustic damage could be gotten rid of by burning it off. I wonder who first discovered that and whether it was by accident or they just had a, an idea that hmm, maybe we can overheat and burn it. And then they tried it and, they, and it worked. Yeah, exobiology I think will be the answer. Humble monk for sure. Just go out and just grab, I don't know, 80 million, something like that. And that should get you up to, that should get you quite a, a fair distance, if not up to allied. But, having said that, it does, it, it does say to do missions for them, so. Yeah. I think what I would probably do is get a little bit of exobiology, maybe a couple of plants, that's it. Take them back and see what effect it has. Happy accidents, yeah, I, I think it would be something like that. Yeah, I think so. Or somebody's had the idea, maybe this will work, and then it has, and that's just been them being very smart, you know? using some critical thinking skills. All right, so uh, now that we're here, we might as well switch into this mode. Some Somewhere we should have a D scanner. There it is, found it. Do that just for the sake of doing it. And now I want to go into the sys map, see what's what. So, ah, I know. Faction. Is Azimuth a faction, guys? Or is it something else? Obviously, there's, they're not even a minor faction here. This is all Veracocha, except for this one. Is Azimuth a faction? Do you guys know? Um, like, what system would you go to? That's independent. Wait a minute, before we jump to there though did just check the one it is a faction okie dokie let's try this one oh that's not going to make a difference is it because this is this is factions within the entire system regardless of these okay so let's jump let's not jump let's get away from the star yeah Let's try a different system. See, this is what I was wondering if you can't go to the factions list in here, right? You have to do it in the system map, which means you have to have visited. So let's visit Electrona. Certain mega ships. Oh, so what is it? Are they factions on mega ships? Oh, you've been away for three years on this game, old pixel. Man. Yeah, I don't know. Fuel 
Fuel scooping complete. I don't know whether the uh, azimuth thing is just... See now, uh, because of what Budman said, I don't know whether it's mega ship related. Mind you, I was looking at fleet carriers there, but I don't know if it's mega ship related. If there's a mega ship in the system, and it's azimuth, right? Would it still appear here in the list of factions? Arr, 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 arr. Six billion questions. Now I can't remember whether the mega ships don't appear until you do a nav beam scan. T Tower is a star though, it's not a system. As far as and I don't think there'll be a system called that. To the T Tower or LHS one one six. Glorious prospect will distribute the Boonie permit. Thank you guys. Awesome. Right, let's do that. This is LH LHS is LHS one one six three is the name of the system, but yeah, I know what you mean about named after stars. But T Tower is a star type, right? Like this one is a it looks like it. I don't know, might be M class. Anyway, so something glorious prospect. Right, glorious prospect it is. We're obviously going to start neutral. So I guess we just have to be allied and then that's it. Right, so handing in exobiology or astro data should be enough. Like it should. I don't know whether there's going to be a Vista Genomics here, but... Yeah, combat. So it doesn't have to specifically be missions then, right? Because I don't know how specific Frontier's rules of engagement are sometimes. When you, when you see written down, do missions for Azimuth, <laughs> you have to ask, is it restricted to missions? Or... D yeah, you know what I mean, right? They could have worded it by saying, do actions for Azimuth to get yourself allied or whatever. I don't have a combat ship at the moment, though. I mean, this thing's got AX weapons on it as well. So, we'll see. I might look at some ground missions as well, but I think... I, I think, um, like a piece of popcorn going by there, uh, I think doing some exobiology would be good. 
because it also gets me a bit of money back as well. I could do with now that I had a, a load of money. I'm, I'm missing it now. Oh, right there. Talking successful. <laughs> That's how you do it. I don't buy fuel, if that's what you mean, closet bound. <laughs> yeah. Is that what you meant? I don't know. Yeah, right, okay. Uh, let's take a look and see what's going on here. Guess I'm standing by. Good time to catch a little nap. Azimuth Biotech. Right, that's out. So that's not possible. Um, so I'm also going to presume that they don't have Vista Genomics either. Which would therefore <coughs> Yeah, it would have to be combat or 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 as they said missions. Hmm. Actually let me just quickly take a look. I don't know how to find out any other way. Do I do power play at all? I don't actually know. The only time I've ever done it is just to pick up, like, you know, weapon and stuff, uh, you know, those kind of things. How, what they offer, some of the powers offer modules, so it it would only be to, to get those. But actual sitting down doing power play, to help the powers in? No, I haven't done anything like that before. <clears throat> but no, it's never been a part of the of the game that's really my thing. It feels like it's something that's just very mm, repetitive, you know? Like the background simming, it's... Oh, Jesus, Stargate. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I think, certain... You have to have a certain mindset for it I think yeah I don't I don't think there's gonna be weapons upgrades whatever you want I've got it I don't think you do uh yeah so no selling plant data here so that's out and no exobiology either You can go to a ground station. Okay. Oh, I thought we would... Okay. 
I, I was under the impression then that it was just the mega ship that was Azimuth. Let's have a look in the sys map a second. And ah, ah ha ha, cool. <clears throat> okay, let's have a look here then. Happy chappy, <laughs> cool. Uh, I say that a few times. I'll be a happy chappy. That's definitely one of mine. Um, oh, I'll tell you what we should do is go to come back out. Go to points of interest and land. Oh, there we go. Planetary post. None of those are azimuth. Glorious prospect. This one. This one. Yeah. Mr. Genomics. Whoa! Whoa! 82,000 light seconds away. This is clearly the place to be, though. Yeah. Ugh. Damn it. More time. Okay. We have to do it. <laughs> okay, Brian. Yeah, joystick curves would help. You know what? Since I've, since we've got the new computer together, I haven't put in the Verbal software to um, to mess around with those things. It's just, yeah, I need to put that in and have a mess around. Although, to be fair, the joystick's been very good. Like, it's, it is, by default, it's really smooth. But there's so, so many options in the verbal software, it's crazy. You know, in terms of programming buttons and doing the, doing the curves and stuff like that. Sensitivities and whatnot. Could multi crew with Rusty and do some exobiology. Hmm. Interesting. Yes, now that I know that this place has got a. The thing is, though, if I have to do some exobiology <laughs> on planets, like let's say that planet and. These don't have any. And let's face it, I'm probably going to have to jump out anyway. Every time I jump back in, I've got to do this 80, 89,000 light seconds again. <laughs> I don't know whether there's going to be any bios here, but the only way to find out is with the uh, FSS. So we're looking at B. So it, it's the B range, really. Okay, so apart from B1, the last two nines, yeah, we can, we can look at these. Yeah, it's easy to find out through the FSS without going through all the planets here. You don't have to go through them all. But anything on this shelf would be, would keep things... You know, quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It might be that none of them have got plants on. Hanzika. More buttons than an Airbus. Mm, no, not quite that many. No. <laughs> Hmm. 
Hey Warren, how you doing? Yeah, I'm so so. I'm so so. So so. Make it so so. Well, we're 14 likes away from 100. That's not too bad at all, is it? Been doing well. And uh, yeah. Again, hi to everybody who's still watching, watching the stream, 93 at the count. Hope you guys are all doing good. This will be good. I think these weapons will be great. If if you look at the AX multi-cannons and compare them with the enhanced ones, the enhanced ones are just so much better. And if these enhanced shard cannons that we're going to try and get improve the same way over the standard shards oh i think i might be happy with that it might make a good difference oh they weren't almost oh they, they weren't atmospheric chris ah uh, yeah <laughs> they, you're right they weren't of course they weren't yeah sorry brain's not engaged you're quite right. Yeah, too busy looking at the uh, the fact that there's a base on there. Yep, my brain's gone, man. It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! Yeah. So what I'll have to do is make the um, make the decision to do exobiology. Go off. Do that get i don't know maybe just scan 10 plants or something 10 15 plants and and then that's it and then just come back and then just do this eighty-nine thousand light second journey again it's not a big deal there are tools to help you out there so you know really want the upcoming fixed enhanced multis yeah i mean the ones i've been using today the turreted ones they are super damned effective on the scouts i i've got uh three large one medium and they make short work of the scouts they do it's like a couple of seconds and they're just gone <laughs> i didn't even <laughs> I didn't even realize about the atmosphere, the atmosphere, of course. Oh, jeez. This is what happens when you have strange and odd sleeping hours. Messes with your mind. <laughs> yep. Death on the planet. <gasps> Oh, Rusty, you need an atmosphere to take the helmet off. Yeah. Got you. Hunziker Terminal. It sounds like a bus stop. Or a... Airport. Hunziker Airport. This would be the terminal. So, I can give you a sub update. We are 6930. Wow, nice round, nice round number there. 70 subs away from 7000. Whoa, super, big milestone. I can't remember when 6000 rolled around. Quite a while ago. I usually keep tabs, but I don't know where all those all that information is no idea yeah they are great Warren uh, yeah yeah they're good it's just when the big guy comes in the big goidy I don't know I'm not quite sure how effective the uh, the enhanced multis are against a Cyclops for example yeah Probably not too much. 
You can almost hear the Thargoids saying, is that the best you got? Yeah. Hey, Castutis. How are you doing? Oh, 07. Is 07 a. You guys know, is, is 07 strictly an elite thing? Or does it happen with, like, Call of Duty players and, you know. People who play those kind of games, which I used to, because they're kind of war things and, you know, involve saluting and stuff. I've never seen it before until Elite Dangerous. That sound automatically makes you de-throttle, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, they say it in Star Citizen. They put, yeah, in Star Citizen, no, to be fair, it probably came from Elite Dangerous because Star Citizen was after, right? Oh, Eve. Oh, maybe then it started there because Eve's been around since before Elite Dangerous. Everywhere in every game. <laughs> I've never seen it anywhere else, though. Like, in the sim racing community, I've never seen anybody t uh, write an 07 anywhere. Yeah, started with Eve. That would make sense. 195th Moses. That would make sense, Eve. Yeah. Because Eve, Eve was before Elite Dangerous. Yeah. It's cool. Because it, it does look like a salute. It's, we, you tend to have to ask... <laughs> What does that mean? Why is everybody doing 07? <laughs> and then you say, oh, it's a salute, and they go, oh, of course it is, yeah. Okay. Slow down, slow down. Righty. Freelancer? No, that's going back a bit. And the same John, I played Eve for a few hours, but back in the earlier days though. Warships as well. All right. Okay, well at least we've definitely established that it's not a um, elite dangerous only thing. I'm going to hand in whatever I can here. It's not much. Incoming message. Okay, so that's that sounds like promising already. So this is what I need upping, right? The local rep. Hmm. Anyway, we'll see. Maybe not. Maybe not. Let's see what the message is. Okay, straight to Cordial then. So it's not the local rep at all. It's just that. Is the local... 
Oh, I'm, I'm going to stop asking questions. It's going to confuse. So. <clears throat> Wait. It's be a slow Wi-Fi day. Not for me. Uh, for this. Thargoid jammers blocking the Wi-Fi. Doesn't want to play, does it? Yeah, I don't know if I'm in... I can't do combat t uh, today, though, Humble, because it would mean re-outfitting the ship, and... I'm already four hours and 18 minutes in, so I want to look for something straightforward. But it's definitely something to look at. I can't get anywhere. It won't let me in the mission board. Maybe too many people are here. Too many fleet carriers. I don't know. Don't know how the server works. Try again. Come on. I think we're going to get thrown out again. Yeah, we are. <sighs> so how do I find out Oh, it's here. It's updated here. So it was this one. Okay, so we need to get that all the way up. Fine. Right, so we can't do any Horizons missions because it won't let us in there. I think exobiology is the way forward. I'm just going to double, triple check that there is a Hansaka. Terminal Vista Genomics. Not that I don't believe it. Door. Oh. I can't remember what my first space game was. It wasn't Freelancer. It depends what you count. I mean, I'm not going to count like Gallagher and Defender as space invaders. <laughs> Hey, James Dean, how you doing? Welcome. My first space game. Probably Elite. Way back in the day, in the 80s. No, no, no. Oh, oh, I know. Going back on, on to the uh, Spectrum. Um, oh, uh, Dark Star, is it? There's one called Dark Star. Time Gates. Does anyone remember Time Gates? I, I loved playing Time Gates. Uh, uh, yeah, and Dark Star as well. Yeah, those. I played those before Elite came out, for sure. Like, definitely. Yeah, Time Gates and Dark Star. I don't think I've got anything to hand in at the moment. Because I've been destroyed 16 billion times. Can, about the can I help you with anything else? No. Return once you've gathered some bio oh, stop nagging. Right. Yeah, so it's probably those, my first space game. But I, I do remember being drawn in by um, Elite Dangerous. Not Elite Dangerous. Uh, Elite 1984. Back in the day. Just thinking, oh man, you can jump to all these different systems and you know, trade and do all this stuff. And I got drawn into, it wasn't the original one, it was probably one of the sequels that I played quite a bit. I had to come out and back in, guys, because the frame rates were dying again. Just to clear the bug. 
Right, so, we know they've got Vista here. Now, will this one work? It might be down to just the player traffic that's in this system. Oh, frick. <laughs> oh, Jesus, Frontier. Right. Bios. Did I make it to Elite? No, no, no. On the old one? No, no chance. No way. Right, so I'm going to invite you over into my browser. And we're going we're gonna to do a little bit of exploitation here. Right, I am in Spanch. And we're going to go to the uh, expressway to Exo Mastery. And our source system is LHS1163. Destination, the same. So range. Uh, now this is the range of my ship. 38, I think it was. Radius, uh, yeah, 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 what would I want to do? Radius. Go 100. I don't think we need to go that far, though. 38, double that would be 66. Go 60. Maximum systems, I don't know. 10. Maximum distance to arrival. I'll, I'll take a chance and leave it where it is. So if we were to scan all of that, we'd get nearly 400 million. <coughs> just by scanning. But if you may notice, my minimum value is 10 million. So if I up this to over 14 and then recalculate, it's just going to show me those that have got 16 million, right? So this will get me 251 million just by going to nothing in this system. So we just jump to these systems, go to these bodies. And like, uh, for example, this one with Stratum Tectonicus, it might have four or five different bios, but I'm just going to go for the big numbers here. And then, if I did do all of these, I'd, I'd get 250 million. Cash that in, down here at uh, Hunziker Terminal. And um, that should see me a fair way to Allied. If I give them 251 million. Receptor Umbrux. Well, I want to check that out right now. That's worth and these are the new values, guys. This is what the old plants are worth these days. If I brought the minimum value down to that, then you would get to see all the new values of stuff. Bacteria, four, four million. You know, these are your new values. Tussock, six million. And if you're outside the bubble and you get your bonuses on top of that, well, we're talking some pretty hefty money. So let's go 15, because there are things that are valued at 14. So I'm going to, you could say 10 million, so it just picks up anything over 10 million, but I'm going to be really greedy on this one. Uh, the Neutron Highway. I've used it in the past, but it's not needed for this. So... Let's go. Let's get that receptor. For every one we scan now, we're looking at almost 17 million per scan. 
So I'm going to pick up one, maybe two now, and then we'll come back, hand them in, just, we'll hand one in, and see how much of a jump it makes on the, uh, on the rep. And then we'll be able to kind of gauge how much we need. Just a quick way to get allied and get this permit. Eta Carine Nebula. That rings a bell. That sounds like I've done that trip before. Right. It's kind of cool that we're going to go and pick up Receptor straight away. That's neat. So let's get ourselves out and then we'll plug the system into the map. And we'll go and do that. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, so first port of call. It'll be really close. This one. That's a single jump, so we can just go there. Okay, so when we get there, we're looking to go to body three. Ah. I, I believe I do have the, the probe the probes on this ship. I believe so. Okay, I've got no control over my ship here. Here we do. Yeah, we're good. We are good to go. So we don't have a lot of. Uh, we don't. We don't need to scan. Jesus Christ! And even talk. We don't need to scoop a lot of fuel. I am really losing the ability to converse. It's getting worse, guys. As I go through life. It's literally getting worse. Actually, I'm not going to need that. Let's just do it this way. Just to be double, triple sure. Point to it. It should be. The honk it. One of these. That's the one we're looking for. It's got one bio. And it's going to be Receptor. It's going to be Receptor. Lord Chive, do you mean mine? My keybinds? I don't know if my keybinds would be useful for anybody else, but. Oh, are you. Oh, okay. I think I might be misconstruing what you're saying. You're just saying in general if somebody doesn't mind uploading keybinds, then EDREF kind is a useful website doing that. Okay, I thought you were asking me for mine. Right, so we've got more interference here, more annoyances. I'm not wanted. I don't have any dodgy cargo. No, there's no reason for this. And I don't have a bounty on me.
do I? Nah. Um. Well, well, handing in this half a million bond <laughs> increase my rep as well. Shouldn't do because they're having to pay out. <laughs> You're making us lose money. Right, so it should be just receptor then on this one. Interesting. Okay, so back on there. Probe number five. There we go. Five probes, that's all you get in. First discovered by Fromage. Mm. Not sure about that name. A bit cheesy. And there it is. All right, let's go. Let's get that big chunk right in the middle there. Why do we go for a small chunk? Because if they're guaranteeing receptor in the small chunky bits, it'd be easier to find, right? Ah, let's go. Let's go in here. Somewhere in the middle. Move bits. They were two likes away from a hundred. Awesome. Thank you guys, everybody who's liked and and subscribe today. Appreciate that. Oh, I'm going to land next to that ridge, I think. Let's get some receptor first, though, and also change out of the Maverick suit. If that's what I'm in. I think that's what I'm in. So we're going to have to get a down fairly low. I think that's I think that's some, is it? Yeah, it's something. Is that, is that something, or is it just a very peculiarly shaped rock? Gonna find out, I guess. Oh, we get, oh god, we did get a hundred. Wow. Yay. Legend. Thanks, everybody. Get me over a hundred. Wow, that's cool. Awesome. This is a rock, is it? Around here, what are you doing with these rocks? This looks like... It is, isn't it? It's not... Of course it is. I'm going to take a look at exactly what I need to find, because... I There is a... There is a bio that has this shape. But I think it's, um... It's something disc, discus or something like that. And it has a shape very similar to this. I can't remember what genus or what species it is. Um, the hell is it now? It'll probably come up on the codex if there's any in the system. So we're looking for Receptor Umbrux, okay? 
So we go here to the codex and go to discoveries, bio, organic. Scepter. I'm looking for the the ones I just mentioned, those disky shaped things. So there's Umbrooks. That's what we're looking for. Okay. This one I'd love to find that. I think I'm on my way to do that, to do that on the rusty side. Yeah, there's that one. Oh yes. Okay, so it's not quite the same shape. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. Right, so we know what we're looking for now, right? Right. So, what we'll do is we'll just have a recce with the ship and find it that way. So, we'll just hover up the ground and then we'll just try and maintain a decent altitude with the nose pointed down a little. Hopefully, they're not too elusive. Unless maybe landing on the smooth stuff wasn't the idea. Rusty keeps barking. Maybe we need to land on the uh, on the rough stuff. Normally one would pop up by now. Rock formations here are strange. I don't know how big these receptor things are. I've seen them before. But... I find that... Uh, you just go a little bit too high, they'll just despawn, pop out. Once you've found an area where they are, you'll be able to find more. And now we're getting into the rougher areas. And if they're here, I'm screwed because I won't be able to land. Try a bit lower then. Kind of weird that I haven't found one so far. Uh, we might hit the ground. Sometimes even in the daylight. See these repeated rocks, rock formation, they look, just look weird. Come on, there's got to be one. Got a planet full of these. Maybe I'm missing them. What the? F I 
normally with night vision, if if you found one, the the brightness of the of the green outline would be just a little bit more intense than than the rocks. Serious. Hey, Rick Timis, thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. And well, yeah, welcome to the uh, Rusty Dog channel. Well, okay, this isn't normal. This isn't under one of Frontiers, no one issues, is it? <laughs> Plants not spawning. Yeah, we've made the payouts more, but we've made the... Uh, we're going to counter that by uh, just making them a bit less... I don't know. I don't... Uh, closet bound out. I'm not sure. I've never had to look this far before. Because in the ship, we're covering a lot of ground. So unless... I don't know, unless they are here and I'm missing them, or they only grow in craters, or... I don't know. Let's see if we can find out. I don't think there's going to be any information, if I'm honest. Why wouldn't I be honest? Uh. So yeah, 150 meters for these. Growth is a difficult and complex process. Found exclusively on planet, planets with dominated by a sulfur dioxide. Well, that must be. That must be this. The only thing I can think of to do is to skedaddle back up and come down again. Sulfur dioxide 100% makes perfect sense. So, I don't know. It's not like they're tiny little things, you know, they'll be noticeable. Try and slow down here because whoa, that just radically changed. Try and stop this. Sometimes the the descriptions can tell you that you know they'll grow in certain areas so you know to hunt for those but it doesn't doesn't happen all the time but you know in the descriptions they don't always tell you things like that so we'd have to assume that they would generally just grow anywhere am I just completely missing them are they just like super tiny or something they look like little cages I don't understand 
I think it, yeah. It, um, hello. You got anything? No? Okay, let's exit out of here. That's bizarre. These things only happen on streams. Yeah, wouldn't be surprised if just Frontier have now just nerfed the amount because they've upped the... Uh, but that wouldn't make sense, just... <sighs> have they just made plants harder to find? I'm just going to give up on these if, if we just jump to the next system. I've never seen this, the like of this before. Like, just not finding any. This is, it's never like this. Those weird rocks, though, the ones that look like discs, they are, are plenty of those around. M. Shepard, hey, thanks for the sub. Awesome. Welcome to the uh, welcome to the, to the club, I guess. <laughs> All right, I say, receptor can go and uh, yeah, take a running jump, basically. Could be any number of things, couldn't it? It could be Frontiers bug. Which is quite likely. Yeah, let's get a sub subscriber update, what we are now. Six nine three three. Yep, I would have guessed that. Been t there's been three, three subs since the last one. Definitely well on the way. Very impressive. <clears throat> okay, I'm just going to try a quick trick. You never know. Instead of coming down on such a huge patch, right? Because anything blue is going to have receptor, right? Fine. At least that's what they tell us. So that means if I land on a small patch, not too small, is that too small? Maybe. If I land here, that little patch. Somewhere inside that little blue patch has to be receptor. Or even that littler one next to it. Receptor has to exist in here. Shields up. I don't want to lose being in the. Uh, well, yeah, I'm going to have to hit the ground here. I didn't want to lose. I didn't want to jump out of that blue area because it is small. So the map says. See, the hell are you? That's such a weird thing. But it did say Receptor Umbrux, which is that cage-looking thing. I think this is a bust. I bet they've all spawned underground or something.
So we move on. I need to do at least one today so I can find out what the progress rate is on these things. Stratum tectonicus is the best thing because it's it's easy to find. Right, so those are not going to be a thing. I'm just going to go straight to Stratum tectonicus. So we're going to jump we're going to jump 1 2 3 three systems. For no reason other than it's the nearest one, one with stratum tectonicus on it. Because the other ones is osseus discus, the ones we just kind of looked at, Clypeus speculumi, Alioida. So that's a planet that's got two. Actually, that would be a good one. That's got two on there, both worth 16.7 million. But if we do stratum, it's it's a lot more straightforward, right? Because we know what it looks like. It's easily spotted. They're just space cucumbers. It's easily spotted. Or is it the cabbage? Space cabbage. Yeah, like I say, you can find them dead easy. So let's just do that because I need to wrap this up. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like, they could be at the bottom of... I didn't see any cliffs on the on the surface, though, but they could be, like, at the bottom of craters and stuff like that. Definitely. Right, so we want to go to uh, body three again here. 138 light seconds out. And we're just looking for stratum tectonicus. If there's something else there that happens to, if it's close by and convenient, maybe we'll have a look at that. Otherwise it's just stratum and then it's back to wherever that system is. LHS 1163, was it? Of course, it's the wrong way. All this for shard cannons, eh? You wouldn't think so. How many of you guys would think that maybe the next step in this Thargoid war thing, because obviously they're going to be stepping that up, is going to literally be finally the bugs getting out of their ships and on, on foot combat? Of course, then we'll need better, we'll need on foot AX weapons and they'll need to be engineered and AX suits so we don't get caustic on them. How I many of you guys do you, do you think that's coming? I don't know. Me personally, I don't know. I don't know whether they'll go that far. But it would be the next logical step for them to finally just step out and come down in little shuttle crafts and get out and take us down on, or take us, you know, take the fight to us on foot. Okay, so we've got, that's it, just bacteria and stratus. 
so I want to do daytime, so anything up there will do. So, yeah, stratum is worth good money, and they're easy to spot. Hmm. I don't know. It might need a community push, but then that didn't work too well with ship interiors. Unless that's on the agenda. I don't know. Frontier should have a plan and just stick with that. And not always listen to the community all the time. <laughs> I know they're the player base, but you know that phrase about a camel being a horse designed by a committee. But we'll see. I mean, this Thargoid stuff that's come, was this a, a request? Was this pushed for by the community or not? I don't know. I think it's a good addition to the game, certainly. But for me, as I've said, though, just a couple of the game mechanics are a bit off-putting. But apart from that, it is it is a good addition. Right, so let's look for the... I think it's cabbage, look like cabbage leaves. There you go, straight away. And stratum and bacteria tend to mix. That's the bacteria. And that's the stratum, you see? So it, they're, they're kind of mixed here. And they're scattered all over. So I'm just going to quickly run Elite Observatory Core for the distances. Finally. Oh, ton of coding. Yeah, 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 for sure. Right, stratum. Hello. Do I not have the right? It's not. Jesus Christ. Stupid. Xbox controller. Base value 806. That's using the old values. Minimum sample distance. So we've gone from 806,000 to 16.7 million. A little bit of a jump. Okay, good night, um, Aknaten. Take care. And thanks for stopping by. Yeah, cabbage leaves. Here we go. Right, 500 meters then, so well, let's go. Don't you move. Stay right there. Because when we come back, we can grab that bacteria. The only problem with these two is that they're the same damn color. So I, I do believe that there are some over the hills here, so let's just go over there. Slippy. Minimum distance reached. You've traveled over 500 meters from previous sample. Okay, so we've traveled the distance we need. I'll do. Sample number two. SRB's got a back door, guys, did you know? <laughs> right, so instead of carrying on further out, 
going to go to the side and across so that my ship is now to the side of me. That's bacteria. The first one is anyway. No good for us. Oh, we can actually, yeah, we could scan it, but with the SRV. There we go. You traveled over 500 meters from previous. Okay, so I think some of these will be blue and some of these will be green. We'll see. Maybe. Sure, some of these weren't in range, but okay. So that's Tectonicus done. Cool. So on the way back, we know we've got at least two samples of bacteria. We've got one over here for sure. If I can trace it back. stupid hat switch. Bacterium Cerberus scanned. Base value 121,300. Mm. Minimum sample distance 500 meters. Uh, no, uh, Jamie. It, once you buy the Artemis suit, uh, it comes with it. The Artemis suits for exploration and exobiology and stuff. Cerberus green. Okay, so we again 500 meters. We will try and get 500 meters out this way, and then all we have to do is get back to the ship, and there is a bacteria right there. Give me height. I need height. Minimum distance reached. Now this is going to be the tricky one. Meters from previous song. Finding a bacteria instead of a, a stratum. I don't want to get too far away from the ship. I don't think bacteria is going to grow on the bumpy bits. Bacteria likes to be on the ground. And there we go. Is it? Is that a bacteria splat? So we'll scan this one, get back to the ship. Scan the last one and go cash in. See what happens. What? Oh, okay. I've already scanned it. Right. I would imagine with that list gain damage that by the time you get there, it's whatever it is, it's already gone. All the good stuff will be gone really quickly. How does that even work? The moment you post it, someone's going to go there and take it. I need to bounce off here. Oh, that didn't go too well. Minimum distance reached. You've traveled over 500 meters from previous sample. Yeah, in a circle.
Okay, done. Oh, that was further away than I was expecting. Yeah, let's take the car. <laughs> it looked so close from within the SRV. Okay. Now, the only downer now is that we have to make an 89,000 light second trip. But then that will be the last. Okay, so let's see. Let's see how much, if any, I'm hoping some, how much reputation this gives us and then i'll have an idea of how much to scan i'm going to hand in this stratum first but then i'll have an idea of how much to scan to get myself up to allied so we need to get back to that thing i can even center on it If it'll be there. Screenshot because I've done it, otherwise I'll forget. Right, back we go. Jumping straight out. And we have two jumps. Thank you, time for a cover. Yep. Depends how quick you get kettle boils, though. I, I could certainly make a cup of tea in time. I got to thinking the other day. <laughs> you know, random thoughts. When you, you... You can go to like a furniture place and buy a coffee table, right? But you can't buy a tea table. Because then it will start getting ridiculous, like a water table, a Pepsi table. So you can buy a coffee table, uh, and apparently it works with tea as well. Because I asked, it does work with tea. Uh, but you can't buy a coffee towel, but you can buy a tea towel. What's going on? Why do why is the table referencing coffee? And why is the tea towel just referencing tea? What's what's going on here? Why can't it be a tea table and a coffee towel? Am I overthinking things? Oh you meant me? Yeah. <laughs> actually when I when I went in Gibraltar when I went to buy a coffee table, I actually did ask the woman does it work with tea as well? She just had no idea what I was saying. Didn't get it. Straight over the head. Yeah. It's weird, isn't it? 
Why is it called a coffee table? Like, dolphin has... Uh, dolphin. Uh, um, <clears throat> yeah. Why is it called a coffee table? Is it because coffee's got the... Uh, the overriding... Does it rule over tea? Does it... Does it really... I don't know. And then we have a tea towel. I think in the UK, it's, be it's because in the UK we we have like the afternoon or the early evening meal would, is referred to as tea. <laughs> so what people call lunch in the UK, it's, we call it dinner. And maybe the later meal, the dinner, we refer to as tea. Breakfast, dinner and tea. And it must be to do with that. Yeah, 693. I know, it's crazy, isn't it? Just tables. <laughs> Google, why is a coffee table called a coffee table? Yeah, it's just because somebody decided to coin it that way. Can't have tea without a prop. Oh, I, yeah, I always use a mug. But actually, you know, tea is served in little china cups with one finger extended as you're drinking. Oh, hello, lovely tea. Would you like another scorn, Vicar? That's tea. <laughs> Be a table. Yeah, well, there you go, right? Be a table. I know. Like, it's just got the one use. Can you imagine going around to somebody's house? You know, you got your cup of tea, you're just about to put it on the table. Hey, what are you doing? That's a coffee table. It's not meant for tea. Use the other little table on the side there. We use that for tea. This is strictly for coffee. Tea towels are used to keep teapots warm during tea set. Well, there you go. There you go. That's answered that one. That makes sense, Simon. Or Simeon, sorry. That makes sense. Hey, Simeon, now you're talking about tea. If you were an earl... <laughs> just saying. Because... It's because tea already has the tray. Yeah, oh, that's it. We've got a tea tray. Yeah. Got, bring the bring the cups and the biscuits in on a tea tray. Yeah. What about a coffee tray then? You put the so you you put the tea tray. You can you can put a tea towel on a tea tray, put coffee on that, and then put that on the coffee table. I just I just don't know what's going on. It's just too weird. just little quirks in life, isn't it? Funny. It's like when Picard went up to the replicator. Why didn't he just say Earl Grey hot? Why specify tea? Surely the computer is advanced enough to know that Earl Grey is a tea. So why specify tea, Earl Grey hot? It's like saying coffee, espresso, hot. Just say espresso. Yeah, tea cozies. Yeah, no, tea cozies, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, they go over the teapot. And as for the debate of, uh, is it milk first, milk and sugar first, and then the tea, or milk last? I'm a milk last person. I don't have milk in my tea because I don't drink normal, like, English tea. But if I was to make one, I'd put the milk in last, because that's the way where I, I can judge the colour and the strength of it based on. You know, how milky you want it, how strong you want it. You put the milk in last as you're stirring. You just wait until it changes to your colour. That's what I would do anyway. Tea goes into a tall glass with a sugar. Yeah, they that's they have that in America a lot, don't they? I think, am I right in saying that tea in, this, in America is normally cold, like ice, iced tea? Yeah, no. We... we you can get that here, of course, you can do that here. But, yeah, iced tea, I, I don't mind iced tea, actually, it's nice. 
but yeah. Tea stand. I guess. Tea, then sugar, then lots of milk. Yeah, milk at the end, yeah. It has to, it's the only way you can gauge the strength. Unless, of course, you just happen to know exactly how much to put in the cup, because you're so used to it, and then it doesn't really matter. But you can't nail it like that every time. Yeah, iced tea. I don't do that one. Just what I what I was having at the beginning of the stream was um, peppermint tea. <laughs> oh, what's the other? Uh, yeah. You get tease maids as well, don't you, remember? We used to have a tease maid back in the day. I'm sure you could do coffee in it. Tease maid. <laughs> used to have a, used to have a, like it would have a tea, little teapot at the back with a thing that would boil the water and it would have a light on it and a clock, and maybe even a radio. And you just have it next to your bed and it would, the clock would tick to a certain time, you know, old-fashioned hands clock, and would go to a certain time and make boil the water for you that's been in there all night uh, for you to wake up in the morning and have a cup of tea. God, those days remind me of those square fold-out alarm clocks, you know the ones I mean? They come in like a, like a little clip case, and it would open up and make like a triangle shape, alarm clocks, you know those ones I mean? <laughs> yeah. It looked like a square glasses case with a clip and you just open it up and then the, the alarm clock would just flip out on a hinge, clip in and that would be that. Yeah, teaspoons. There you go. There's another one. Can you use teaspoons in coffee? It works though. I've tried I've tried a teaspoon with coffee. It does work exactly the same. Just like putting a cup of tea on a coffee table. It it's it works. <laughs> the correct spelling is cozy. Yep. C O S Y indeed. Yeah, travel clocks. Those are the ones, Brian. Yeah, the travel clocks. Yeah. Yeah, cozy. Cozy, uh, British English, cozy's with an S. But I would, ex I would expect in the US it'd be with. Yeah, those little square travel clocks. We used to have one of those as well when I was growing up. Mm -hmm. but they used to have an alarm on them as well. I wonder if they, do they still do those? I would imagine you could still get them. <laughs> do you know what I can't deal with though? Is if you, like people, like, uh, uh, like a lounge, a front room or something with a clock in it that you can hear ticking, you know? That would have to go. The clock, if there's a clock in my room, I'd, it would have to be silent. Because imagine just sitting reading a book and just listening to that tick, tick, tick. Drives me insane. I can't, I can't be dealing with it. Because it's then you, it's impossible to just have silent. Yeah, Goblin. That's the one we had. Goblin teas made. That sounds like somewhere else these days, though. Yeah, we had a Goblin teas made. <laughs> Her name was Tracy. Shush, Rusty. Shush. Yes. Yeah, Goblin. It was, uh, it was, the base was pink and then had the clock and the teapot, the metal teapot behind it. Yeah, Goblin was the, was the make. 
Oh, it was super popular. It was a big one, yeah. Cuckoo clock. God, I, yeah, you see, I couldn't handle that either. It'd be like this bloody fanfare thing that goes off. Every hour, it'd be like, cuckoo. I'd just jump out my skin. What was it that made me jump the other day? Oh, oh, yeah, guys. Right. <laughs> you know... Oh, sugar. You know, sometimes I get, you know, the fanfare goes off when there's a donation and it makes me jump because the sound comes through really loud on the speakers. Well, just to show you how jumpy I am, right? A couple of days ago, a few days ago, I went down and I, I thought, I'm going to have a couple of slices of toast and a cup of tea. Right, typical English. I went down, put the toast in, made the, made the tea afterwards because the tea is quicker than the toast. And I got the tea, put the tea in, put the sugar in, half a sugar, and then still waiting for the toast. And I'm stood next to the toaster, and I know it's in there. I thought, oh, come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. And I'm just looking out the window in the kitchen, and the toast popped up. God, it made me jump. I'm stood next to the toaster. I'm right, you know, I'm, on the, I'm at the counter next to it. And I knew it was there. It's not like I wasn't expecting it. And it popped up and the sound of the, <laughs> the sound of the toaster popping up made me go, it made me go, oh, you know, it just, I just jumped. Weapon heck, that's the first time ever a toaster's made me jump. I don't know, I'm getting too jumpy now. <laughs> Yes, coffee cakes and tea cakes, that's right. One's just called a tea cake, it's not tea flavoured, but the coffee one's flavoured, isn't it? But they can be eaten with either drink. Yep, tea cakes with coffee, coffee, coffee cakes with tea. <gasps> the sacrilege, guys. But can you put a tea cake on the coffee table as well? I've never had a, I've never jumped with the toaster before though. It's too, it's got a very gentle sound, you know, it's just, it just, it just, I don't know. And especially when you know it's there and you know it's gonna pop up any time. I don't know, just weird, made me jump. Maybe that should be my new fanfare sound, eh? Toaster. What are you afraid to Google? <laughs> A goblin tea's made. All right. So we know. Actually, do we know? Just have a quick check. Oh, is it going to let me see the details? Right, so you can see that my local rep is just above cordial, just a little bit above. And I think my exobiology rank is geneticist with nothing on it. Yes? Yes. Ah, a fellow inquisitive mind. I'm curious to see what you've brought us. So, let's split this up. We'll just sell, why is stratum 19 million? Right, that's all you're getting for now. Anything else? Vista thanks you for your contribution. Yeah, okay, well I'll be back with another contribution in just a moment. So maybe we'll just have to give this a little minute or so. Commander? Yeah, maybe. Or maybe it doesn't do anything. Let's do an exit out. If it doesn't do anything, then... Well, it should, because handing in uh, cartographic data changed the rep. So why shouldn't, why shouldn't Vista? Did you miss your AX run? You did miss it, but you didn't miss much. 
Let's put it that way. Gonna make any progress? Oh yeah, okay, okay, so we jumped just halfway up there. So another, I'm assuming that the progress through to friendly and then into allied is the, at the same rate. Like it's not slowing down like it does with dangerous, deadly and elite, right? So if I do say one, two, three, four, I don't know, let's say one, one, two, three, four, five, five more plants at 16 million. Let's, let's say six to be safe. If I scan six more plants at that, that amount, that should be enough. Okay, that's, that's to do for another day, maybe tomorrow. I'm going to do those. Yes? I hope you have some organic. Our researchers always welcome fresh data. Can I help you with anything else? Thank uh, you for your contribution to our research. Do you sell travel clocks? Okay. Right. Let's just jump out again just to quickly do it. Oh, it's not bad. That's a decent amount of progress, I think. <laughs> My. Wow, what happened there? Right, let's go down to the ship. Take a look at our final today's rep and then check out our ranking. Okay, so the geneticist rank hasn't moved. And I think that's because the progress bar, if you imagine it going backwards, the progress bar is probably still in whatever it is, taxidermist or whatever it's called. <laughs> what is it? Taxonomist, whatever. It's probably there and creeping up. And then when it finally does get to geneticist for real, then you'll see it climbing up here. So that, that rank's probably not going to move until I actually make that rank. But because of the way Frontier's done it, until I make Geneticist, I will not actually ever be able to see what my real progress is. And that's pathetic. They should have changed the rank name back. And I don't know why they couldn't do that. Maybe there's a reason, a technical reason why they couldn't, but they didn't. So we are now friendly, so all we have to do is get to allied. Oh, we made friendly with just that extra million? Jesus. We Okay, so just handing that extra million in, we've covered the other half of Cordial. How did that happen? How do you hand... 19 million in and go halfway through cordial then hand 1 million in or 1.9 and then jump the other half is it based on amount of plants or Jesus okay if it's the case then I'm going to go three yeah maybe four more plants but I'm going to go five or six just to be sure and then we'll get to allied and then we'll get the permit for Mbumi Boomini and Booney and Booney, and then we'll be able to go and pick up the, uh, the, sh the enhanced shards. Yeah. Okay, I'll do that, and have that ready for next time. Guys, thank you so much. Um, thank you everybody who's uh, been watching, uh, is still watching. All the likes, 122, and that's fantastic, uh, and all the subscribers today. 
uh, and everybody just for keeping me company. It's been a, uh, it's been good. It's been wavy. Let's put it that way. It's been wavy today with the goids, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Yeah, appreciate it, everyone. Here comes the new, updated, end credits. Uh, I'll just explain it. We've got different color names now. So if if it's yellow, it's Pat Patreon patron. If it's green, it's channel member. So that's how I separate it, and it's all a bit of a mix up because uh, moving the names around are a bit, uh, you know, dodgy. All right. So thank you, everybody. Take care. Have a great. Uh, rest of the rest of the day evening whatever it might be until next time i bid you farewell <laughs>